I've never seen, I've seen me before. Or is that one me? So let's finish that one and then we can decide what we're doing after that. Um, There's no punishment, Mighty. Well, just there is a punishment. Try it's it like, again. I have, to, yeah. I have to do it again. But I don't think this is a Harry punishment. Harry is up the stream yeah. with five pounds. Oh. New rule. Every time Pete visits a new country, he has to research the biography of a famous pornographic film star from that country and read out loud three interesting facts about them to his viewers. Did you hear that? Yeah, okay, that's not, it's not great, is it? You must be real proud of yourself, huh? Yeah, he spoke a bit too soon there, Otaki, didn't he? Yeah, The problem is we're also stalling because we've got quite a lot of damage. <laughs> I can't go any I can't go anywhere. There's a police car blocking the way. On a previous stream, I have engaged with uh, with, with with who the who the who the good peeps are. You sometimes miss the peeps parts. That did not work, no. No, JC, this one's not a clip. This one's live. <laughs> In devious mind. He's highly intelligent and possesses a wicked sense of humour. King of Time is a master of manipulation and subterfuge, using his unassuming demeanour to his advantage. Uh, King of Time's motivation for villainy. Uh, Dibba, can I can I show you that can I show you the current ideas on the document? Can I can I show you your current can I show you the current ideas on the document before you before you think um before you think that yours won't be welcomed? Oh. Sorry, I pressed I pressed the wrong one. Yeah, I don't know. So many of the clips are of be right back screens or of me saying this isn't a clip. Um, but I, you know, I think that adds a richness. That adds a richness. But hello, Oof and not feel so untouched right now. I have an auntie called Veronica. A racist. <laughs> don't, don't, don't click that. Only, I've, I've never seen a channel where they stream from jail. He doesn't have the same commitment to original hardware that I do. Get that by drawing tablets. What would marry her No. Well. Maybe. Yeah, no, you're right. 
wasn't quite right. Right, so this is the. the oh, oh I'm it has to be out, a one on. motion. This is this this is the real me. <laughs> Don't listen to this guy. Now the stream's not finishing, that's This is this is me, like it's me. Oh my hat's not on. Yeah, this is yeah yeah Harry, this is this is a hundred percent live. There's no way this is a clip. Yes, oh no! Oh! 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 Hello everyone. I hope you're well. I'm down here. I'm down here. Uh oh. Yeah, I should have. I should have. I can't believe I didn't think that was. Even for a second, I shouldn't have believed that wouldn't happen, should I? There's so many clips of me saying, oh, this definitely isn't a clip. Am I going to be able to do this bit and sing the song? That's the question. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing, Josie. Yeah. Stream sponsored by it's something unpredictable, but in the end, it's right. I hope you had the time of your trek. Here we go. Let's just check. Oh no, fuck. Okay, I, I just did that on the time. I think. Oh, we've got a, we've got a first aid. Nice. Wankerson's going. Wankerson's going all the way. He's going to do a dance. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. This is what direction that roll might be in. Yeah, I didn't like to say. But... Hostia, por favor, tenga en cuenta la velocidad. En la rotonda, coja the thing la about the cinematic salida. camera that makes it quite such a funny thing to drive it is that salida all of the angles are unhelpful. But if it was just one of them, you would at least get used to it. But just as you sort of work out your bearings on one, oh fuck. It does change. Wow. Oh, yes, here we go, ding dang do. There we go. Next <laughs> week. Yeah, it's live right now, Harry. Harry, this is absolutely not a clip. There's no way this is a clip. This is me live. I'm sorry that this is not... Yeah, that's good. And then it... It's there, right? Yeah. It's down there. Then yep. it's down there. Yep. And then it's up to, like, there. No. No. Muffed it. You started in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, alright, well. It's easy to be wise during the event, you know? Oh, listen, did you want me to let you get through the whole star, that? Be fair, I, I am the same. I, I do know the difference. Oh, we could have hit that truck then. Okay, where where are we? Where? What? Did 
Okay, there we are, there we are. Goodbye, thanks to your visit. Thank you, Syria. I think Paddy getting shot was my favorite. I think wasn't that everyone's is there anyone here who's who's for whom that was not their favourite part? How are you gonna recreate that in the game? Yeah, no, Harry makes a good point. It's actually the opposite of Space Cadets, isn't it? Because the Charlie Skelton thing is something coming out of his bum. Whereas um whereas the, the Max and Paddy was something going in Paddy's bum. Is the swamp not in it? Well, the swamp is in far, far away, I think, come along. And I think that's fine. There's also Otaki's rule about putting a food on the map, but we haven't finished a job uh, for about two weeks now. As the world speaks to its towards the end of time, the Fine, we're fine. I've just, just pulled it back. Oh, they're going for too deadly. Okay, it's time to try. Ow! Hi everyone, I'm down, I'm down here. Hello, I hope you're hope you're well. Hope you're ready for a nice drive. Um, I've I've, I've brought a friend with me in the in the passenger seat. Uh, right here, it's our friend Harry Hardy. Hi, uh, do I have it's your me? Um, Hello. Do I have your thingy? Do you, there isn't. You haven't got a little picture. Uh, well, on on that Fiji thing, what's it called? Yeah, Fuji Tech. Should do. Yeah, Should I thought it. I was bound to have you. Let me see if I've got the URL. I don't. I haven't used it in ages. Yeah, I might not. You might just not be. Uh, might not be Maybe added. No, it doesn't mean that. You can imagine what I look like, can't you? you can I think just, people you know what you look like. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll be fine. I think it's fine to have audio only, Real. Harry. If anyone objects it's strongly, we can fix it, but. I think it'll be fine. I think it's preferable, even really. What preferable to have audio only, Harry? Oh, my, uh, my raid. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thanks for the raid. Thank you, Mr. Chicken. We just we haven't we've just started. Uh, hello, Dibbert. That is that is indeed my name. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, is that your speaker. name? Is, yeah, I'm Pete. I'm, well, I don't want to dock myself too much, but there was a there is a clue in my Twitch handle. I think. <laughs> Did you think my name was Agud? I thought you were Agud. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought I was. Agud. I didn't know what the Pete bit was all about. That could be my surname. That could be Pete Agud. Maybe that could, yeah, be, it could be. If I if I when I, when I have, when I restart my Madden campaign, maybe the new manager's name will be Pete Agud. Um, I advocate it. Yeah. I vote for it. Right, here's the... Um, okay, we're just going on a nice drive. There is a small gimmick to the stream. Uh, Harry, I don't mind explaining this to you, Harry. Harry, there's a small gimmick to the Go stream. On, tell, me, tell me all about this. I've yeah. never, I've never yeah. seen no, this list ever. Basically, it's just driving. It's just driving. It's just some pleasant... It's just some pleasant... Some, it's just a pleasant driving stream for the evening. There is a small gimmick, um, which is that uh, I will do anything people request me to do. Um, but I, I think, if anything, that pretty makes it more relaxing. So you can see scrolling down the screen now, these are these are the things I've so far, I've currently, th these are the outstanding requests that I still have to do. Uh, for example, there's they one here at the top. They are outstanding as well. 
Uh, every time Pete visits a new country, he has to research the biography of a famous pornographic film star from that country and read out loud three interesting facts about them to his viewers. I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's the. F- I don't know who put that one in. Um, mm. Currently, we are um, currently the, the one we're midway through is we're, we're going everywhere they go in Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere and recreating our favourite moment from each episode. Uh, I think we've just got the final episode to do. And those are all scrolling down the screen. On, on the right-hand side, there are some destinations that we need to go to. Um, one of those we are heading to, uh, which is somewhere in Ireland. Um, but we, we've got derailed by... Um, we've got derailed by uh, going everywhere they went in Max and Paddy. You got derailed in a lorry stream. I can understand being derailed in a train simulator stream, but not a lorry stream. Uh, yeah, I mean, I shouldn't have been on the rails in the first place, should I? No, no. Why were you on the rails? Were you, were you trying to do an insurance job or something? Probably, probably were you someone, trying to get probably, some, probably someone said go on the rails. Right. It's because these streams Daft. are off the right. Yeah, yeah, Divot's got a good point. Right, here are the requests. Let's get let's hide those. Let's get back on the road. We, okay. We um we we're, we're currently we were in the West Country um to faithfully recreate the scene where Max and Paddy tried to sell a pig. We've done that, and now we're heading to <laughs> we're heading to Newcastle or just outside Newcastle, um to recreate the moment where Paddy gets shot in the ass. Just you think Scotch Corner is just outside of Newcastle? Well, look, I'll show you on the map. I reckon it's, I reckon it's. This these this was the services that we, we thought it probably was before, so it's a bit it's right. quite, it's quite a way it's quite a way down from Newcastle. It's a little bit, yeah, just a little bit, halfway between like Hull and Newcastle. Yeah, it's it's yeah. just outside Newcastle, isn't it? That, yeah, yeah, yeah just that's just just outside Newcastle. <laughs> right, let's, let's... You know what services are called, Pete, in real life? Do you know what services these are? Do I know what services these are? Not not all of them, no. I mean, the one that they use in Max and Paddy. Do you know where the arse shooting oh, scene Scotch takes place? Corner, in Max and Paddy? Is it? Scotch Corner, yeah. Is Harry a bit. However. Do you want me to. I can decant Harry. Can we turn it down a little. I, I can, I can probably. I can probably do it. I like I to do... have my gain all the way up, you see. I like to be a loud lad. How's that? Well, you won't know. I'm, I'm Hello. Asking the... I, no. I don't know. I've got no idea. Shall, shall I yell and check? Yeah, if you can yell and check. I mean, well, I'll, I'll, uh, Hello! I'll... Hello, everyone in the chat. Hello! Yeah, Bread Santa makes a good point. It's That's the place you would go if uh, if you and Bread Santa had to broker peace talks. <laughs> yeah, it's very much the demilitarized zone. Yeah. Although it was militarized, there was a gun there at one point okay. in Max and Paddy. It was, a gun. It was, yeah, it was very much militarized. Okay. Breddy, I'm sure it would never come to that. And by the way, Breddy, I'm not in Newcastle right now. I'm in Manchester. If we ever had to have a sort of peace talk, it would have to be Hearts Head Moor on the M62. Yeah, yeah, that's a point. You're not. You not. You don't live in Newcastle. I don't know. Isn't so. It, so no. Have you got? A, have you got a, f- a family link to Newcastle? No. Hey. Oh. Have Who? I, have, have you? Made, have I made that up? Who are you talking about? Who are you talking to? Well, you. I've just, I just said me, and you said no, oh, and then sorry. I got confused as to I who was... you were talking about. Yeah, it's, 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 hard, it's hard to hear you over the, uh, the, 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 the thrill of the, the drive. Who do you think was talking? The lorry. Yeah, I thought, 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 it, was, I thought it was, I thought it was Alec Guinness, but he's not in this one. <laughs> um. Well, I'm I'm from the northeast, Pete. Well, I know like you're I from the northeast, but that's not. Yeah, but Newcastle is just one of many places in the northeast, isn't it? Newcastle was my nearest city growing up. I studied at Newcastle College. Yeah, yeah. I suppose that does count yeah. as, a, as a link to Newcastle. I've worked many a job in Newcastle. Good enough for you. Yeah, there's, there's. I mean, it wasn't like a test. It was, it was, it was an attempt at some pleasant chit chat, really. It felt very, very pleasant. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, good. I'm glad you feel welcomed. 
feel acknowledged and feel seen. Brett Santa is asking, um, is Brett Santa a Geordie? Brett Santa is a Geordie, yes. Would you consider yourself to be a Geordie, Pete? Um, I've never really, I've never, I've never been to Newcastle. That doesn't matter. D doesn't it? No. It feels like it. Feel I suppose under the rules of the Geordie game, as yet unplayed. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, I would yes, be a Geordie. Yes. This is what I'm getting at. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Now you're thinking Geordie game rules. I'm thinking Geordie game rules. If you were thinking like you know basic average. Default logic. No, you wouldn't be a Geordie, would you? No, no, because I'm not. I'm not from, not from Newcastle mm. or any of the surrounding areas. But like no association with Newcastle upon Tyne at all. No. No. Red Sands has got a strap oh, go on, then, for the Red... game. Maybe yeah, he's going to keep it close to the chest. For the Geordie game, or for or for um, Euro Truck Simulator. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to see strategies for Euro Truck Simulator, <laughs> other than drive forward. I do know that it does have some speed runs. Hmm. Now, now, wouldn't they be illegal? What to speed run um, the truck? Wouldn't, wouldn't they? Wouldn't, well, not like not. I mean, like you'd be breaking in-game laws, wouldn't you? I think, and I'd, I'd say that's sort of that's uh, not in the spirit of the game, is it? No, there should be a. I don't. I haven't checked on speedrun.com if there is a um, if there is a legal percent speed run. Where you have to get from one city to another, but obeying all the rules of the road. <laughs> and it has occurred to me I should write that down as a future stream idea. That would be a brilliant legal percent. <laughs> and then try and send it. I do something I'd like to do, just just out of pettiness, is I, I'd love to do something on stream that gets me into some sort of dispute with with some kind of like jobs worth that runs speedrun.com. Oh, okay, right. I thought you meant like something that would get you in legal trouble. Like, no, not get me in legal dispute. trouble, but where I could have a, I could have a long protracted email exchange with the the moderator for Euro Truck Simulator on speedrun.com or something. That would be good. That would be that would be interesting. Though I, would like Although I don't really want to make an enemy of the truck game community any more than I, I feel like I already do. Oh shit. Well, this is why you have you have to you have to carefully select your jobs worth then, don't you? You have to find someone in the community like on these forums. Yeah, that everyone likes already to hates. With. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I don't think this is a libel so, stream. Yeah. No, no libel, no libel tonight. I'm too tired for libel. You're too tired for libel. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm you can. Uh, I don't think it's a uh, what. Oh, Brad Sands is suggesting the strap because what like is. Oh, I, I, I was speeding. That was okay. This this is no longer qualifies for uh, the legal percent speed run. Uh, Brady, that, that's a valid tactic. I think that's I think a valid that's tactic, right. just to name the the current uh, the current the current Green Bay Packers squad. I think that's all right. Um, I think Pete, if you were to do a legal percent stream, you should also do it whilst you're um, pretending to be a solicitor. <laughs> you should try and give legal guidance to <laughs> chat. Anyone who has like a sort of, uh, I think wants I'd, a bit of... I'd have to get a passenger on who could give legal guidance, and people could send yeah, in their uh, people could send in their, uh, their their legal issues. Yeah, get a bit of consultations, and then on someone the go can, can, you're driving. Can, can Google their issues and give them legal advice. That'd be good. You'll be like the world's first oh. mobile lawyer. Be like um, be like Martin Lewis on Wheels. You'll be, you'll be Martin Lewis on wheels. You'll be Judge Judy on wheels. During the season, you managed to do 47 of the 53 from memory. That's good. That's a lot. I feel like, I feel like Brett Santner wants us to be really impressed. I think that's fairly impressive. How many Green Bay Packers can you name? Uh, I, I could, Actually, probably I some, right? Because you, you, you've watched some of their games. They, the thing is, though, I know I know some footballers' names, Pete. Sure, sure, I do, yeah. But like, all the teams blur into one. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to remember if I can if I can remember any. And it, it is. Uh, they do. They do blur into uh, one. Travis Kelsey. He's a footballer. No, he is a footballer. Yeah. He's he's um. <laughs> no, he is a footballer. Yes. 
But he's not a, he's not a packer. No. He's a, a uh, chief. He's a chief, I think. He's a Kaiser chief. I think that's a different team. Who who would win between the Green Day Packers and the Kaiser Chiefs? Do you know the Kaiser Chiefs are a football team? Yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Who would win between the Green Bay Packers and the Kaiser Chiefs? So the what? Green so that's an American, Day Packers. an American football the team, Green... an American football team with Billy Joe Armstrong at quarterback, versus yes. a football team where Ricky Wilson's in goal. That's correct. Yeah. Who who would win? Who would win? Who would win? What sport are playing they playing? Different sport. Yeah, different sport. Exactly. One's playing American football. One's playing soccer. Well, you score more per score, don't you, in American football? Yeah, points-wise. Uh, yeah, they get Green six Day each time, don't they? So mm-hmm. that's going to help. And they're allowed to pick up the ball as well. And they are allowed to pick up the ball. Ricky Wilson seems like a good egg. Yeah, he don't, he, I think I think that's probably true. Is that true, Harry? Maybe. Maybe I've I, I got no. I, maybe I've got nothing slanderous to say about him. As I said, I'm too tired for libel tonight. Oh yeah, I wasn't expecting libel. I just. Uh... <laughs> I don't think you anyone ever expects libel. Yeah. He bought a trans- trans- Oh, he telly. was on Michael McIntyre's thing, right? That's what he was. That's that's what he was on. That's like, good then. Would you be very, very pissed off, Pete, if Michael McIntyre woke you up in your bedroom at midnight one night and think, brought in... I think that's such an like, odd... That, that's such an odd bit, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Why does he wake how, them up? Half of those that's... Or would you rather he left them sleeping? What? I think it's better that they're woken up, really, than, yeah, but, than just left No, but I mean, but the, the, the prank always sleep. seems to be he wakes them up. What would be a better prank then? Well, it doesn't. Electrocuting them in their sleep, or. No, I don't think. They... So they have to be... Oh, do you not. Know... Right, so. What is the bit? The one with Bradley the was is... quite funny, Kate, to be fair. Some of them are funny. The bit is Michael McIntyre essentially breaks into a celebrity's house at midnight and yeah. conducts a game show in their bedroom whilst the celebrity is still tucked up in bed. And they bring out all these other, like, unexpected guests. Along. It's like it's like a full-blown show that they do in this person's bedroom. It's it's it's, it's funny, but there's like a lot of planning goes into it. Um, but Is I don't know. I bet you they've scrapped some. It's the, it's like the midnight game show. Yeah, yeah. Oh I yeah. Okay. That. Okay, that's that's yeah. why he always wakes them up, and I didn't realise that was I didn't realise that literally was the bit. Yeah. Um, but I don't. I bet you there's been some of them that have been scrapped because the contestant. Had a bit of aggro or something. Got a little bit shirty and wanted to stop Michael McIntyre in. I bet Michael McIntyre doesn't like it when he gets out. If someone's if someone makes him look bad on those bits, uh-uh. I, I bet he cans it. You know, like if he loses the battle of wits. Yeah. I don't think he likes that. No, probably. Would you be annoyed if Michael McIntyre woke you up and brought in Paddy McGuinness into your bedroom? Yeah, that would be. I think that would be quite annoying, wouldn't it? Yeah. What if Paddy got into bed with you? What you think that would make it better? Maybe. I think Paddy would regret it instantly, though, when he realizes the bed is very, very wet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, in my in this in this one scenario, I think it's I think it's understandable. Michael McIntyre has broken it. Brady's got a question. Uh, what if they're still awake at midnight or having a little wank? Well, there are hidden Michael cameras McIntyre. in the room, aren't they? So, Well, they bring in a camera crew as well. Yeah. Um, and so I guess, I guess Michael McIntyre gets to see them have a little wank. Yeah. Brady is yeah, the answer to your question. I guess, I guess Bradley Walsh's wank will be broadcast on BBC One <laughs> on a Saturday night. That's what will happen. Have you seen any of the new uh, gladiators? Not yet, no. Um, there's a lot of TV I want to watch, uh, but TV really breaks my heart. 
Yeah, well, because of your here's, cause, here's cause, my because of your job and life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my job and life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to watch. Uh, I want. I want to start watching the new series of Apprentice. That's on. I, I need to watch Traitors. People have said loads of things oh, about yeah, that. Oh yeah, I've not watched but... Traitors. Oh, uh oh, we've stalled. I, I want to get into it. Um, have you seen any gladiators? Not have... like obviously in your lifetime. I don't mean like old gladiators. I mean, I mean the new one. Yeah, well, not the not the not the Romans. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I didn't far, go to the about, Colosseum. I'm about. I'm not saying. I'm on about the Ulrika Johnson. Yeah, no, I have seen the, the Ulrika era. Johnson. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. All right, okay. Now to go back to the question I'm actually asking: Have you seen Have you seen the BBC One one yet? I have seen a couple of episodes. Yeah. And were you satisfied? I think it's good. Yeah, I think it is good. So I think the present is a bit weird because the presenters are Bradley Walsh and Bradley Walsh's son. Mm -hmm. and that's a weird. That's a weird. It's that's weird. Yeah. That is weird. And they he keeps doing a, little jokes all the time. He's always know. doing little jokes, Bradley. Yeah, I think of Bradley and his bloody joke. Which I'm not against. I don't. I don't. I don't you know. I don't mind a joke. I'd rather he just like you know delivered lines. Without any sort of humour whatsoever, no, direct the not... camera, but, scrap yeah, I, but any aspect of what entertainment. I'm, what I'm getting to with is what Kate said, is that Barney, who's Bradley Jr., Bradley Jr. too, um, he adds nothing. No, fair. And they probably, I don't it, know it seems obscene happened. that it's uh, that it had a female presenter in the mid-90s, but not in the year 2024. So it's literally just those two. There's no. There's yeah, no it's female. Bradley and Bradley's like the... son are the hosts. Right, that's that's a bad idea. They're trying really hard, I think, uh, to make Barney Walsh into some sort of Roman Kemp kind of guy. Yeah, I can imagine. But Ronan Kemp's a bit shit as well, isn't he? Uh, he's got something. He's he's got like. I don't actually. I haven't really watched. At least. I haven't really watched. It's all right. But she's done. He's all right on the radio. He's all right on the radio. He's he's entertaining on Capital when I've heard him. He's not terrible, but you know he's he's your typical nepo baby. He presented a quiz on daytime BBC One with uh with Sarah Green from Ghostwatch. Um, and the, the gimmick of the did. the gimmick of the yeah recently, and the gimmick of the quiz is that the the contestants' podiums move forward. <laughs> Into what? Towards like a big pit of lava. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. It's towards a big pit of light. No, it's just no. They just move forward on the screen a little bit. It's not. It wasn't. It's not good. And I assume it didn't get a second series. I think it's called the finish line or something like that. And it's all in finish. That would be well. It wouldn't be good. <laughs> be I, I know some of the words. It would be a, you know? <laughs> it would be a real risk. Kate's for friend wrote for that show. That. It's filmed in Northern Ireland. It has like got a second. Series. I suppose if you have invested all the money in moving podiums, um, <laughs> then you've got to give it a second series. I've got no issue with the questions, Kate. Do I? Is, is I can't remember the format. The podiums. Is the issue what the podiums? Is it, yeah. Do you not like the podiums? Well, Would it's, you it's, the podiums a, it's, it's a that's a thing in data quizzes where they sort of have to come up they have to come up with a sort of gimmick for it. Um, that makes it different to all the other quizzes, and yeah, it, see, Kate agrees with me that the format is silly. I think it's. I, I, I watched it when I had, when I was eating lunch. It was it was it was all right. I don't particularly like Ronan <laughs> Kemp. I didn't think he was a particularly good host. Well, he, he lacks life experience, doesn't he? To be a sort of uh, <laughs> a, a, a decent enough trivia host, I think trivia yeah. game show host. He and seems, he feels Sarah Green, like eighteen-year-old boy. Sarah Green is in the sort of is in a sort of Richard Osman position, which uh, it annoys it's like me. A that, sort of thing. Yeah, which annoys me because it's sort of it's because Pointless is quite popular, but Richard Osman's position on Pointless is 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 also fairly unnecessary, isn't it? He just sits there and reads the answers out from a laptop. Yeah. I don't even think that laptop's plugged in. You know, I don't even think. Switched on. You don't think it's switched on? Osman's laptop. Sarah I Green. Think, Sarah Green Osman's is good laptop in it. Is a dummy. I like Sarah Green in that. I like Sarah Green in Ghostwatch. Summer's it. Summer's just finished cooking chili. Wow. 
please give us a chili update later on after you've eaten the chili. Do you remember a um, a Gary Lineker fronted game show on ITV maybe a couple of years ago? Which um, I can't remember the title. I can't remember the premise. It involved a row of moving chairs. Yeah, I can I can remember exactly what you can remember, which is that it had some silly chair thing. Mm -hmm. It was a, a silly chair thing, a, a, a bad gimmick. Yeah. And I don't think that got recommissioned. No, I'd imagine Gary Lineker wasn't cheap either, or good. I don't remember watching no, it. No, but it was interesting. It was interesting because it was one of his first forays into ITV. Yeah, he's uh, not, programming. yeah. Can he, what's his deal? I thought... I thought I he'd be locked. I thought he'd be locked into BBC, but he can present well, good shows on BT Sport as well, isn't he? Yeah, he was, he was like a BT Sports guy as well. Oh he yeah, he was the BT Sports guy. Oh, and actually, I also know he did. Uh, he what? He was doing Spanish football on like an online-only platform mm -hmm. for a bit, mm -hmm. with presumably loads of money. He's a freelancer, essentially. He's, he's like Ian Wright. Ian Wright goes everywhere. He's on BBC sometimes, sometimes yeah. on ITV. But it's weird, isn't it? Because Gary Lurk is always held up as being... Like, he's always yeah. the, the BBC yeah. scapegoat. But he's not He's not really... A, he's not really a... Um, like a centrally contracted BT, a BBC guy. Yeah. I doubt he has an at bbc.co.uk email address. <laughs> Yeah, anyone, I doubt has, he's got, has like, anyone staff emailed? Has anyone ever emailed Gary Lineker? Gary.lineker at bbc.co.uk. Yeah, so that, that's probably it, yeah. He's probably got, hello, he's probably got Gary Lineker at gmail.com. That's probably where he gets his <laughs> work offers through. Where are we driving, Pete? Uh, we're, oh, we're, going to, we're going to, yeah, we're going to Scotch Corner. Um... And then I guess someone can trigger the headshot, um, headshot alert, <laughs> and then and then one of us will go, "Ow, my ass!" and then we will have regretted that. Yeah, I could fire a staple into my butter if you want. Do you know what? I looked to try and find a clip from the episode, but they're not on YouTube anymore. They've been taken down. Oh, didn't have you got rips of them? I did at one point. I don't think I still do. Yeah, it's you can't just it. keep. I'm not just keeping them. the whole of. I don't, I don't want Paddy McGuinness's filmography on my Didn't hard drive forever. No, there was a time, Pete, where you did. Where you were like, you were like the world's premier Paddy McGuinness archivist at one point. Well, I did have it, but I wasn't like. I can get. I don't need them, buddy. It's fine. We've watched it. We've seen it. We've seen it. Remember, there was a time, Pete, on your OBS that you always constantly had a. a Peter K stand-up routine, just playing in the background, doing nothing, and sometimes you'd encounter it by switching scenes. Well, y yeah, I mean, I, 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 that's not as ridiculous an OBS setup as I think you think it is. I think quite often it's you have... funny, though. I didn't say it wasn't funny. <laughs> it's a kind of, it's a kind of behaviour, um, a person who archived all of Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere would also... I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know how to end that <laughs> sentence. I, I wasn't thinking before I was talking. I didn't think where that sentence would end before I'd begun I it. I don't even really know why I had a Peter K alert. Because we didn't really... We haven't really... We didn't watch much Peter K stuff. Mm -mm. It probably would have been better. It probably would have Not really. been. Actually, it would have been similar, wouldn't it? It would have been Phoenix Knights. It would, it would then be, it just yeah. would have been his sort of competent but, but fairly artless stand-up DVDs. Have you ever considered watching that Dave Spikey game show on Bullseye. stream? Oh, he did do Bullseye, he did didn't he? No, there was another one he did. He did. another one he did. Um, it was like, sort of like a word game kind of thing. I, do, I, I caught vague, it once I on Challenge and it really... It. It, it caught me off guard. They repeated it on Challenge like 15 years ago and I was like, what the hell is this? It looks like it's filmed like in 1995 or something. I didn't yeah, realize Dave Spikey was a was. I didn't realize he was prevalent in 1995. No, I didn't. I, I don't know. I don't know a great deal about Dave Spikey. Other than he doesn't like Peter Kay. Mm. Yeah, that's a good trait for a person to have. And he did. He he did. He did. 
some sort of medical research uh, job. That was Dave Spikey's. Yeah, he, did. he knows he was, a lot about blood plasma. Yeah, he was I like think. a proper scientist. Like he was looking yeah. for the NHS. Uh -huh. And he threw it all away. He sort of did, yeah, to, to be Jerry St. Clair. He did. <laughs> think of all the diseases he could have cured. I'm he, thinking of them. He was a king in North Africa, is what Bread Santa's written. I'm not, I'm not sure why Bread Santa's written that. I think we're in the wrong lane. Do we, do we dare ask Bread Santa to elaborate? Maybe, probably best not to. We don't know who he's talking about, and we don't know why why he said that. <laughs> Bread Santa may be hallucinating. Oh, actually, I've remembered what he's talking about now. Dave Spikey was a king in North yeah. Africa. Yeah, do you remember when does, I did... Does that uh, make sense to you? Um, yeah, it does now, it does now, yeah. Do you remember when I did a medium-lived Crusader King stream? Right, yes, okay, sure. We, we did, I'll say yes. Dave, Dave Spikey <laughs> was, was in that. Uh-huh. Yes, that makes sense. Now, can I tell you something that really annoys me about um, the Scotch Corner scene in Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere? <laughs> is it clearly not in Scotch Corner? It's clearly not Scotch Corner. Because well, that's, that's Paddy's good, because I don't know. Shot in an overpass. That, actually, this means this is going to be a very faithful recreation of the scene. Because I bet this won't look much <laughs> like Scotch Corner. doesn't so far. Oh, that's right. I remember. Yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember yeah, yeah, you being no irate. Over. Saying there's no yeah. flyover in Scotch Corner. <laughs> the other pass, yeah. It's I, I suspect it was Washington Services, a few miles up the road, or maybe like some sort of Lancastrian. Yeah, services. probably near to Bolton, which is where most of yeah. this is built. Because <laughs> Dave's because uh, because Peter Kay knows some of them get free catering. Mm -hmm. That's so funny that how he just like puts the buffet. Yeah, in a big always puts in bag. a buffet scene so we can take it home with him. <laughs> yeah, 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 amazing. <laughs> See, I respect that kind of absolute insane thrift from him. Actually, yeah, I don't respect it. I just think it's, it's funny. It's professional frugality. Yeah, it's really good. That's how you become like, uh, a millionaire. Yes, yeah, that, yeah. That, which is sad, isn't it? The only way to become a millionaire is to spend no money ever. Yeah. You get like um, buffets, though. You do get buffets very often. Yeah. Yeah, there's, you know, there's pluses and minuses. Right, let's um. This, this looks sod all like Scotch Corner. There we for, are. We're for here. For starters, there's, there's there's better parking here than <laughs> yes. in real life. There's loads Scotch of corner. parking for trucks. This is this there is good. Is. Let's just uh, survey the scene. What do you see? What's taking your fancy, Pete? Well, I can't see anything that looks like a service station. Uh, well, there's that little building over there. This, yeah, this looks like. Um, I don't know why there's a, I guess, sort of farm barnyard there <laughs> no. in front of you. That's they don't have that in Scotch <laughs> they Corner. Don't have that in Scotch Corner. <laughs> no. Right, let's have a. Oh yeah, we just have a nap here. That's fine. This would be good. No, 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 no one might. Yeah, we'll have a sleep. There we go. Right now, so no, many parking spots, and right. you just park there. That's so obnoxious. Right now, it's now it's night. Do, actually, does the scene take place in day or night? Can't remember. I think it's early morning. There we go. No, well, there you go. I've, I've, got, I've got that realistic. Night, night, come on. See you later. Oh, yeah. Night, night, come on. Thanks for dropping in. Okay. Um, right. So, okay. In a, anyway, Kate will hit the headshot. And then if you can, if then you can go, ow, that, that shot me in the ass or something. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Kate. Here we go. Headshot. Oh, that shot me in the ass. There we go. It's, it's like we were there. 
Oh no, we have to escape from the police because we've destroyed a traffic camera or something. Like Akira Toriyami. Yeah, did they you saw down a um, food camera? Or it's, do you know what? It's one of the rare episodes where the, the there is actually some coherence to an element of the writing. Because that happens right at the beginning, where they knock down a speed camera, yeah. and then it does come back uh -huh. at the end. Yeah, there's a callback, yeah. So there is like an actual functioning callback. Maybe we'll get some petrol while we're here. Is that your um, is that your road to nowhere? Yeah, that's, that's complete. That's that. That's that complete. Yeah, I hope that's what everyone was looking for. Hello, Mighty uh, We've just doing? we've just faithfully created Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere in um, in Euro Truck Simulator. I think you could always recreate Series Two, Pete. You well, have the scripts available to you, the Series Two script. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't the request. So you know we've got they've got what, to have rules. The you know, what's the, what is this? What is this for that if we don't stick to the the procedures? What was the what was the wording of the request, Pete? I think it's open to interpretation, maybe. Um, I forget. It it does take place over a wider... It... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Over a wider part of Europe than, um, than the first series, isn't it? You read what Brad said. Yeah, I've read what Brad said. Exactly. Exactly. <coughs> I'll let you into a little streaming. There's a little pro streaming tip, uh, Harry. Oh, yes, please, I almost please. always see what everyone always writes in the chat, but sometimes you can pretend you haven't. <laughs> but that's why I'm here to draw attention <laughs> yeah, to it. All. Yeah, that is that's 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 the downside of the uh, the passenger the passenger element, isn't it? <laughs> when I stream, I see it all as well, and I just can't help but comment on everything. Yeah, that's the yeah the, yes exactly. Kate's got it. That is. We really have combined our two styles tonight, haven't we? That is the sprinkling of HH uh, magic. I don't think McMaster is in. Watch the... I don't think he is either, is he? I don't remember McMaster watching the wanking contest in Syria. No, I think uh, Gomelon may have edited this for his own consumption. Hmm. <laughs> I would like to do more of those script writing uh, scenes, uh, uh, streams, but the problem is, it's just too funny for people to focus entirely on trying to get ChatGPT to write the most appalling things. <laughs> and I'm not saying it's not funny, but it's it, it it's 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 not what I want to broadcast on a weekly basis, you know. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. I get that. Uh, it, the the humour for me is imagining Paddy McGuinness and Peter Kay enacting a yeah, wanking contest. Yeah, no, I'm not no, necessarily trying to get ChatGPT. No, to... no, I think I think I think it is. I'm not saying it's not funny. I know, and I'm not Actually, saying you're not saying it's not funny. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. Mike Myers from Austin Powers Gone On or from Halloween. Is this true? I don't know, and I, I don't want to check. I think Gomelon's having an episode. <laughs> yeah, I think, think Gomelon's written his own a, episode. An ambulance? <laughs> <laughs> I meant like a medical episode, but yeah, I think I think you're right as well, Pete. We don't think we write a medical episode. One where they're in a sort of casualty. Yeah, like a sort of a scrubs sort of... Uh, um, Italian sort of show. Imagine, imagine Paddy and Peter Kay pitching the British Scrubs. British Scrubs is Greenwing. Gre yeah, well, I'd, I'd say Greenwing is better than British Scrubs. Yeah, totally. I, did, I, I, I really have a soft spot for Greenwing. If anything, I suspect favorite. that someone it saw Greenwing when they were writing Scrubs. Oh shit, this is um, we've gone the wrong way. I did something a bit nerdy, right, um, a few months ago. I researched the opening night of Channel 5 in 1997. Oh, okay. And they did... A, there was a show called Hospital. It was, it was a sitcom based in... Uh, a hospital, obviously. Uh, um, 
but it was a slapstick hospital and it was it's it's, it's almost like the precursor to Greenwing. it even has mark heap in it and a few other cast members of Greenwing. wing yeah Isn't i can't it? find any of it i'm like yeah yeah that's interesting i think it was a one-off 90 minute show yeah it almost was like a pilot for Greenwing. kind of yeah but like Greenwing was like oh three oh four on channel four when yeah, it came yeah, out yeah it would have been about and then this yeah. was 97 this was 97 on um channel five I don't and mean I think, to. Um, um, I don't mean to. I don't mean to stop yeah, I'm, you. I'm trying. I don't mean to stop you. Harry, I'm doing. I'm, but, I'm using your technique here. I'm ignoring. I'm ignoring it. No, I'm, no, no, I'm no, no, no. I think what you, what you might have accidentally ignored is that in the chat now we actually have one of the stars of Greenway. Oh, okay, right. Okay. Yeah, I was. I was ignoring something Alan, else. Alan Statham okay. himself is just right there in the chat. Hello, Brady. I mean, Alan. Hello. <laughs> well, what a what a honour to have you here. What coincidence? Just we were just talking about Greenwick. <laughs> this would be funny if Brady's never actually seen Greenwing. I suspect and, Brady hasn't seen it. And all he knows is the character's right. name. He has, he has seen it. What do you think? What's your verdict on Greenwing, Brady? Oh, hang on a second. Now we've got two Alan Stathams <laughs> here. We Alan can't Statham. all be Alan Statham. What the hell? I'm Spartacus. And uh, Brad Santa said banger. It is good. It is a banger. Three Stathams. It's Stephen Mangan is on Classic FM now. Yeah, uh-huh. It's a career. That's... that's he's and he, and he does stuff for Sky Arts, doesn't he? He's uh, he does, yeah. Real he's, and he was Postman uh, Pat. He's done it all. Because <laughs> like, his character in Green, Green Wing is one of the most vulgar comedy characters yeah, ever created. Yeah, it is, yeah. And now he, that's what really thinking. And now, he, now he presents Portrait Artist of the Year. Really highbrow stuff. like really, And he's a nice guy. I mean, you just wouldn't have thought of like, the this, this shit he would say in Green Wing. Have you ever seen, um, have you ever tried to watch Campus, which was made by Green Wing Lot? No, I, no, I've, I've, I'm sure I've meant to at different times, but, but no, I haven't, I haven't watched it. it it's dire. Is it shit? It's awful yeah. Awful Yeah, it, and it's just, it's just, the script is so unnecessarily offensive. It's just there to upset people, and it's just, it's icky, and it's not funny at all. Kate, Kate knows no, he says it. it's shite, which is better than... <laughs> with with Kate, you know, the, the two ways it can go is Kate will either agree or Kate will say, oh yeah, my friend wrote that. <laughs> 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 oh, I recognise this bit of the M62. There's a bloke's house in the central reservation in real life. Is there? I'm assuming this is the M62. Yeah, yeah, there's like a little farmyard. Are we, on the, are we heading towards Manchester here? I think so. I think we're heading... Now we're going to go across... And we're going to get the ferry. Yeah, there you go. We are. We're going to get yeah, the Hollyhead I ferry. Yeah, I I know this part of the motorway. Andy Nyman is br brill. I love Andy Nyman. It's so disappointing that he's in campus. Um, <laughs> you know? Do you know much about Andy Nyman? Uh, he's the he does Darren Brown's tricks, right? He, he is. Yeah, yeah. He's he's, he's, he's Darren uh, Brown's Darren Jonathan Brown's Creek. <laughs> yeah, he's Darren Brown's Jonathan Creek. Yeah, that's Andy Nyman. Is. <laughs> And he also does like acting. He, he's, he, he was great in um, Dead Set, the Charlie Brooker, Big Brother zombie thing. I've seen. What's what's his spooky play? Oh, I've seen know. that. <laughs> you like? Do you like it? Ghost. It's quite. It's good. Yeah, ghost stories. Yeah, I've seen. Ghost I've stories. seen him in that. Could have been Darren Brown. He could have been Darren Brown. Yeah, he did. They did make it into a film. Yeah. I need to, I'll write this down. I need to see ghost stories. I always write things down. Always get like suggestions, and I never follow up on them. I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily horrible. You're just busy. You've got to. You've got to watch several hours of cricket. 
직진하세요. Uh, that was a separate conversation I was having there. It was it was just it was separate. To, oh, okay, yeah, it's unrelated. Just, just, yeah. Yeah, unrelated. Just like, I haven't got time to watch these things. In brackets, I'm horrible. Yeah. I watched all of Us Strangers earliest day, two out of five. Mm. I, I don't think I even know what that is. A movie, I suspect. It just seems, seems like it, doesn't it? So. I think it's one that's actually out in the cinemas right now. Ah, okay. Are you driving to see me? Am I dri um, well, you're in the passenger seat, so that would be that would be folly, wouldn't it? Mm, yeah, you'll never get to me if you keep driving. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're going to Chester. We're yeah, going to Hollyhead. I'm, I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to deliver some cod to Limerick. <laughs> I'm considering going to Hollyhead in a few weeks, maybe a month or two. Got to some, get a ferry got to, get to some Ireland. cod to Limerick. I've got to get some cod to Limerick. I want to get a ferry to Dublin. Go on a bike ride around Ireland for a little bit. That'd be nice. I think so. It'd be hard work though. I can't be asked. Yeah, is it hilly? I bet it's hilly. What Ireland? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Kate is Island Hilly. <laughs> Pete, you are very dangerously close to my house. I'm, well, I try not to dox you in the in the in the, in the stream. The, the M56 is. Uh, is that your local the, motorway? Yeah. The lo It's the nearest motorway. Yeah. yeah. Like. If you drive for two minutes, uh, you'll end up at the very beginning of the M56. Nice. Uh, oh, um, Kate's dad is on tour in Ireland at the moment. All right, I'll, I'll try and catch him when I go. In a way, I'll also be on tour in Ireland. Yeah. Ireland is Tilly TV. It's, it's Hilly TVF. Oh, shit. What's that guy doing? Let's honk at him. Oh... I mean, I didn't really indicate yeah, when I was do. changing lanes. I don't think you need to indicate when you're a massive lorry. Well, that's, that's certainly the logic I've been applying at all times. I must say, uh, I think you've healed my motorway phobia. Yeah, you did used to be scared of motorways. I, mean, I'm not in, I think this view would be worse. Uh, oh, oh, I don't like how close you get into that. Oh. Oh, no, don't, don't get up the arse of this I'm man in the wrong front. lane again. I need to be in there. Hang on, I'll indicate. Yeah, yeah. I'll indicate. Are you going to at least look behind you before you just manoeuvre into the next lane? I, I no, can sort okay. of see. I can sort of see. I can, you I, can sort I, of I think... see what? You can't see behind you. <laughs> I can see the back of the truck. Kate's got a motorway phobia. You can have a support group. Excellent. Yeah, I'm up for that. I want to uh, brag, if I can, just for a moment. I was on the M20, on the M1 the other day uh, for all of half an hour, and I didn't <laughs> cry that... once. No, yeah, congratulations. Everyone, Thank please congratulate so Harry. Not. What were you doing on the M1? In a car? I was walking. Just... I was walking down the hard shell there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I was in a car. I was a passenger in a car. <laughs> Thank you, Brad Sample. Thank you so much. Oh, and I'm Wales. Uh, Kate, when we have our support group, uh, we should have it at a motorway service station. Nice Wales, good, good country, nice people. Uh, Kate said I would have had a minty bee, which yeah. sounds like a, like a type um, of like a breath freshening like mint. Breath it? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> it's like a Mentos, yeah. Anxious that you're on the motorway? Don't worry. Have yourself a venti bee. Peppermint flavour. Now you've left England, do you have to do that rule again? What do you, what do you mean, buddy? Oh, oh. Have you know how I like Welsh people, Pete? Well, in a sense, yes. I know you. Depends, uh, yeah, yeah. I know. I know that you. I know that you like some specific Welsh people. I've never 
I don't know if they're... I've never researched whether or not there are Please. porn stars who are Welsh. There's got to be some, right? Well, we're not, we're not finishing the job in Wales. We're going to be finishing the job in Ireland. Uh, oh, sorry. The criteria? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I understand what Brad Santa's saying now. Hello, Maggie. Hello, um, Maggie. Would you like to Hi, explain Maggie. to Maggie what we're literally talk what we're talking about now? Maggie, we're talking about pornography. Well, I don't think we are talking. I don't think that's true. All right, so we're, we're talking about people who appear in pornography. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. Sorry, I've tabbed out of the game. No, it is. The rules, which is going to we're going to grind the rail. <laughs> what? You're careering down the motorway. Yeah, what? Sure. What? You just tabbed out. What? Well, I, had to, I wanted to bring the rules oh, up so we could God. check the. Uh... I hate that so much. I hate that so, so much. Well, what do you want me to do? Just stop? Yeah. On the motorway? Oh, I, rec I recognise this part of the road. I've cycled along this um, yeah, coastline. This, is the, this is the tunnel, isn't it? The, the pen yeah. man back tunnel. Yeah, one of them. There's quite a few. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're just looking at a sign, were you? I couldn't see the sign because it was obstructed by rules. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's nice when uh, there's uh, a bit... That's uh, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, we really. I think you see That's uh, true to life. <laughs> yeah, we'll go in the trunk. Okay. Every time Pete visits, an, oh yeah, every time I visit a new country. Uh, yeah. Nice. Um, I'd, I'd ask if you could look up the um, the porn star that I got. Pause this time. Uh, but, but I, I realise. Am I Pete? Yeah, exactly. Am I realised I realised that the main, the crux of the prank here, or the well, it's not, not necessarily no, it's probably unkind to call it a prank, but is that you want my search history to 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 include the term Welsh porn stars? <laughs> I hadn't even considered that. That would be a thing that would happen. And also, I don't know if you um, saw one of the po bots that I made. The, the, on your request. I don't understand hog. Hey. Hog and he. Tetanus, which became Pete Anus. To, to make that um, asset, I've had I did a search for fake buttocks and plastic buttocks. <laughs> not on not on private browser either. <laughs> I didn't make you do it on a on non private well, browser. No. Like, yeah. I didn't specify. You could have done it on private browser. Don't blame me. Well, you for didn't that. even say it needed that buttock, so I'm uh, not really blaming Speed you for that. Speed mode activated. Uh -oh. Don't slow down. Uh -oh. Not uh -oh. um, I think I think Gobelon is trying to upset you. Gamala thinks know. you should keep going oh, fast, hang on, or Gamala. the truck might explode. Okay, hang on. Right. Gamala, okay. What you done that for, Gamala? Right. Okay. So look, there's now there's a new speed I'm... mode now. Here we go. Hang on, yeah. Explain, explain the criteria to me here. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about this new thing. What, okay, you'll see that. Okay, here we go. Right, okay. It's new speed mode. We have to hold down the accelerator until the timer runs out or we crash. We get the cups first. Yeah, fair. It's a good font, right there. It's a good font, yeah. And also, there's a track, there's a random track from Mario Kart playing. Oh, hang on. I can't hear the music. Let me just put it on for a second. I want to experience this. I'm a fucking maniac. I can hear. I can hear my voice. Yeah, well, you're on the stream, Harry. Is this live? This is. Yeah. Do, do you not? Do you do not explain? Is this live right now? Thanks for the speed bike on them. This is actually going quite well so far. This is... Oh, Gamolan can hear you. I, I can't... Hello, Gamolan. Hi. Hey, Gamolan. Gamolan. I don't know why the uh, text to speech struggles so much with Gamolan. Not just the text to speech. I struggle with Gamolan. Yeah, well, fair enough. I remember, I think it was just like, I raided someone once and they, they pronounced it as Go Monan, like, like Mo Monan. Mm. Uh, Cressa called Maggie FBK Maggie Facebook the other day. And I <laughs> that. That's good. I think that's where Maggie FBK, I think the FBK part of Maggie's name actually does come from Facebook. Do you think? If I, if I remember Maggie's origin story. Uh -oh. 
Okay, there's a car in front of us. Is... Maggie, go over front. Okay, I'm going oh, over right. the bridge. Is this the the Menai Strait? Oh, no, we're not that far across. Are we? Oh shit! Either the this is, this is either the okay. Menai or the Britannia Bridge, I think. In the in uh, Anglesey. Just honking the horn a little bit. So, although, uh oh, uh oh, no, hazards on, hazards on. Okay, we're fine. Welcome to Anglesey. Welcome to Anglesey. Feel Welsh yet? There's a caravan, is that Welsh? Oh shit. Oh god! Oh, 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 first. oh, oh this is gonna be bad. This is this is gonna, this could be the end oh, of the road. Oh no. No. Yeah, that's um. Mm -hmm. We still had two minutes twenty-five left. Well, well done, Goblin. <laughs> You know, I, I feel like sometimes people in the chat don't have your best interests uh, at heart, Pete. I think people just want you. I don't, want I don't think probably just wanted us to, he, knew, he knew that the job was. Oh, we, we, we've got zero minutes left. Uh, we're late. He just wanted to speed us up, you know. Oh, go on. If you'd like to pick a future okay. destination, um, you can you can have that if you want, and I'll add it to the list. Um, shall we take a quick break? We, you know, the truck's having a lie down. Absolutely. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back. Uh, we'll get this cod. We'll get this cod to uh, to Ireland. It is seventeen percent damaged. So sorry to sorry to. If there's anyone in Limerick waiting for their cod, um, we're having a lay down. Yeah, we're not going a anywhere. Sleepy. How can cod, how can cod be damaged? I'm not sure. Quite easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, imagine it's sort of broken. Yeah, like or like sliced up or yeah, yeah, yeah. mushed, mushed. Yeah, mushed. It could be very, very easily damaged. I think it's mushed. Right. Okay. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back in a minute. We'll get this cod delivered. Oh, hang on. I need to ignore all these things. saying this isn't a clip. Oh, for fuck's sake. Every clip has been saying it's not a clip. Right, I'll be oh, back in a minute. That's, that's a shame, dude. Well, Dibber can't hear me. This is this is me. This is this is my hope. This is they're near me. They have steering problems, but could this be the grim reaper of the competition? That's nowhere. Hello, I'm Gilbert. This is my son Robert. This is our robot <laughs> iron ore. The main weapons are very powerful. His massive silent sun. Which, uh, is powered by CO2. Yeah, 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 get it to walk to Philadelphia. Yeah, that would be that would be good. I'd imagine it means everyone feels a bit seasick as well. I just don't know, we've got similar interests. Oh, yes, we we've, we've eaten some meat. You ate a piece of meat. Through, through our ass. That's evolution. 
That's Tiggy's in the chat, please, for uh, for that evolution. Have you ever heard of a man called Simon who's based on a show called I'm Chat Detectives? Plus. Or uh, saying this isn't a clip. Oh, see, that's that's a shame, Dibble. Well, Dibble can't hear me. Oh, good. Thanks, Red Center. Um, it is like it is live right now, yeah. Oh no, I need now to be able to do the rhythm game. Some blackbirds. I'll make them the best blackbird pie they ever tasted. Shrek's starving for some okay. great pie. If someone could click this, I would make it into a lot. Make it for him. But who will be able to bring home the blackbird? Fiona doll, it's your hero time. Uh, hero time. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gomelon, for clipping yet another of the clips. It's good to make sure they don't drop out of uh, existence, you know? You've got to back them up, haven't you? Do, do, do you? Yeah. In case of what scenario? In case Twitch decide to delete half your clips? <laughs> yeah. They decided to delete the originals, but they're not the ones that are just clips yeah. of clips. Yeah. I think you should be... You should mod Gomelon, really, for their vital service. I don't think that's true. I... No, I don't I don't think so either. That's a terrible idea. Imagine <laughs> the things Gomelon would permit. Yeah, exactly. Right, we need to tell ourselves to have a wrist with. Oh yeah, I added John O'Groat to the destinations. I don't know if John O'Groat... Let's have a quick look at the map. I mean, it's basically the, the highest point, the the the, the, the most northern the point of the British back. Isles, isn't it? That's what they say, yeah. But I don't know if it's in the game, is what I'm, what I'm saying. Uh, I guess it would be up here, uh... wouldn't it? It'd be like Wick. Oh, it's like a little sort of uh, a lay-by sort of area. It looks like they've factored yeah. in. A, there's like a bed there, isn't there? There is a bed there. Yeah, maybe it is up here. Yeah, all right. We'll go. We'll go there at some point. <clears throat> yeah, of course we do. Donald's living the MacMaster dream. <laughs> he is. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's just get this. Let's just get this fixed. Can't fix the cod though. The cod is beyond repair. Right though, you can't damage cod. Apparently, it's fine. What did we get any further explanation of of, of, of that, that not, deranged no. sentence? Of course, didn't. <laughs> of course, we didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want to argue with a person who just like flippantly says you can't damage cod? <laughs> no, no, I, no. No, but I I don't know no, no I I I treat, I I very much avoid that kind of conflict or milk it for comic effect. You just can't imagine damaged cod. So every time you've seen a have you ever had fish and chips, Matty Bounty? Or have you only ever seen yeah. cods fully intact and swimming? When, you, when you're eating a cod, you're yeah. step by step damaging it exactly, further and exactly, further. Yeah. It, it comes damaged, doesn't it? From it the chip shop. Yes, it does. Yeah. 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 I think. I think. I think a dead fish is. It's a damaged, damaged fish, fish, isn't it? Yeah. With, yeah. Yeah. Goblin said, "I could damage a cod, which isn't. You wouldn't class that as damaged. What dead?" You don't think dead counts as damaged? Pete, literally, just, I'm telling you, just ban them. <laughs> You'll have such an easier life, Pete. <laughs> <honest> <laughs> to God. Right, we're, uh, we're, just, we're just driving around in here. So, a university town? Possibly a... No, it's not a city, is it, Aberystwyth? 
In what university? In which of these industrial estate units is the university housed in? <laughs> it could be that building over there. Uh, it could be, yeah. It could be, yeah. Uh... It's got a comedy festival there as well. I, I, I don't, I don't doubt that Aberystwyth is not a nice place. It's on the coast. It's on it? the coast, but it is nice. Yeah. yeah. I think I've been in the past Charlie, when I was younger. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at what Gomelon said. I'd, I'd argue that fish that has been yeah. turned into feces is very much damaged fish. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to hear the credit. Is that true? So all that cob was alive in the truck. Okay, 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 okay. So Mighty Party's contention here is that who are they even arguing <laughs> with though? Like <laughs> the, the game, I think. Who they got beef with? <laughs> it's not beef. It's, it's not beef. Harry's fish. <laughs> it's cod. Yes, yeah, it's sorry, cod. beg your pardon. It's not getting confused. It's not getting to whether you can damage beef. And we do get to see a little bit of the, the time. This is nice. This is nice. I do yeah. like this. And we're all here, thanks to Gobbler. If I hadn't been for Gobbler, we just would have driven off the motorway and then got on the boat. Yeah, thanks for the detour, actually, Gobbler. This is nice of you. Thanks for letting us go to Aberyst with. Have you got any further with your Welsh porn star research? Oh, uh, no, 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 I haven't. I, I got distracted by having to drive the truck really fast. Oh, shit. Mm. I can't, I'll, I'll have to do it before we leave Wales, won't I? Am I supposed you will, to do it otherwise you'll have to. Otherwise, you'll have to what? You'll have to research. You, otherwise, you'll have to research an Irish porn star as well. Yeah. And uh, you'll have a bit of a backlog. You best do it before you leave Wales, really. Unless you want to consolidate both of them together. Uh, Pete, I'll let you off here. If you can find a Welsh, <laughs> a Welsh Irish porn star. One star, yeah. Yeah. If you can find one who's half Welsh, half Irish. There you go, we've discovered Aberystwyth. Oh, there's a sign to McCuntleth. It's nice. I know it's... Hey, nice, it is, yeah. yeah. What it says. Yeah, do you not have an English porn star? Yeah, I, I, I'll i be honest, but I'll be honest, but I didn't realise... I, I wasn't really cognizant of the... I thought the rule was like the other ones, where it was like the food one, where it's where I finish. But it's not that, is it? It's every country I, go, I enter. Every border you pass. Every border I pass. You gotta crack up in the private browser. The stacking up. If you can find a porn star that's a third English, a third I'm Welsh, gonna say, a third Irish. English and Welsh should be. There's lots of people who are English and Welsh, aren't there? Lots of people are Irish and Welsh. Yeah. There's a, Famously, yeah, yeah, exactly, a, a, a Celtic connection. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Although they weren't, you know, back in the back in the Druidic days, they weren't doing porn, were they? They might have been, but it might be. <laughs> well, if I can find like a tapestry, that'll count, will it? <laughs> yeah. If you can find like erotic writings from that time, no, not, that not, might count. Um. Mighty Fetty is now thankfully moved on from You Can't Damage Cod, has now moved on to say that druids love porn. <laughs> well, this is nice. If only someone was moderating this chat. <laughs> to be fair, though, it's. it's the, well, the I don't think. I don't think I necessarily want someone banned for just saying druids love porn. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't see the, I don't see the harm of this. I'm not on the family computer. Do you reserve the family computer for. What searches t are taken pla uh, take place on the family well, computer? Okay, yeah, in the last day I have searched for fake buttocks and plastic buttocks. There on the family computer? There isn't a family computer. <laughs> we all know that I brought this I brought this computer with me in my suitcase. Stuffed full of pants. Yeah, but the, it could have been a computer already at the premises you're living in now. And gone along. Dedicated for the family. Who I think may have written this in the wrong chat. Has just typed. Are you getting a BBL? Yeah. Oh, this is Mac. Gomelon, that... I didn't know Mac was in hey. the game as a scenery village. It is. That's nice. Let's. Uh, is this, let's... Is this uh, a base location or is this one of your Edge Lord mods? Uh, 
I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know where the mods end and the, um, this must be modded in. How true to Mac is this? Let's pull in down here. Oh, we can't pull in down here. Can we you see? recognize? Well, this? there's no, uh, the clock tower is the famous site of the country, isn't it? I've never been to Mac. You've never been? Never been. Should go, really. Yeah, I should. I, sh I should. Well, I have, you know, haven't been for a few years now. Oh, shit. I like fish. Sorry to go back to cod again. Fish rots over time. <laughs> or king of time. It becomes really smelly. Ugh. Imagine if king of time smelled of rotten fish. Ugh. What do you think king this of time's favourite fish is? Yeah, it is. I thought, you know, we'll stop We'll stop here. Look over the reservoir. Um, just that, I'm sure that truck won't mind. We'll just, I'll just pop the hazards on. Don't worry. <laughs> Just hold on a minute. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just doing. Some, I'm just opening a private browser. <laughs> Hang on, private browser. Is this, is this the wanking bridge? I don't think that's what. The it's police called. have just passed. The police have just passed you by. <laughs> yeah, well, don't tell them what I'm doing. Uh, what we're doing? Okay. Uh, Welsh porn star. Probably a clock. Sounds like a cocktail. Okay, the ultimate list of 10 wicked Welsh porn stars. Wicked. <laughs> Top 25 hottest wicked. Welsh porn stars in 2024. Okay, well, we want the we want the we want the wicked ones. <laughs> like that, that's wicked amazingly in 90s, that cool? isn't it? Um, are they cool porn stars or are they evil well, porn I've stars? To, I've had like, to tell them I'm over 18. Oh, okay. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm now looking at something pornographic. Just describe the picture. And I don't think that was. I don't think that. Oh, okay, that. Yeah, these are some quite graphic pictures. I don't tell that they're I, Welsh people. I'm but... not happy that I'm on this site with things like Crystal Lay is one of the best MILF Welsh porn stars. According to who? Uh, <laughs> Who's the aficionado? <laughs> Um, it's it's whoreyoro dot com. <laughs> and can we trust their opinion on this? Um, I I, I don't I don't know. They they're making a lot of claims about about other put. Uh, Stacey Saron has perfect Welsh tits. <laughs> I want more lifestyle facts rather than just... And just kind of bleak ones. Yeah, I want to... Okay, I'm now on the Daily Express, which some people would say is a less reliable okay. source than whoreyoro.com. Oh, boy. Okay, this is... Uh, passionate porn star 23 spills on blood, sweat and tears it takes to make adult films. Okay, this is Lacey Armoire. Uh, she was originally from Welsh? Newport, South Wales. That's fact, okay, yep, fact sure. one, isn't it? Yeah, that's a fact. I'll count that. Um, Mrs. Miss Armoire was working as a carer while waiting to begin university, intending to start nursing when she initially joined the site... Uh, brackets only fans in 2019 or it's also known that website uh why did they add extra words to that right up there they could have just said only fans <laughs> yeah yeah true um these are just facts about only fans Okay, you're okay. You you'll like this. This is her advice about. Um, this is her advice about being on the subscription site. You have to build a brand mm -hmm. just like any other business, and the business is owned solely by me. You have to be marketing manager, sales manager, finance manager, creative director, etc. You have to wear every single hat and do it well to be successful. Being successful on OnlyFans is one part luck and three parts blood, sweat, and tears. 
Mm. What about that sentence that you just read there? Did you enjoy the most? Was it the hats? Well, is that what caught that your is attention? what drew my eye to it, yeah. Yeah. But I also like the strange recipe of one part luck and three parts blood, blood sweat, and tears. <laughs> Those are three facts, Pete. Well done. Yeah, thanks. That's Wales ticked off. <laughs> thanks, Wales ticked off, yeah. Isn't... um. The guy from Outnumbered, his his parents were porn stars, weren't they? Hugh Dennis. Yeah, Hugh Dennis. Yeah. Right. Okay. We can get back. Okay. There's still someone. There's still someone behind. This guy's still here. It's raining now. Oh yeah. There's quite a lot of traffic backed up there. We shouldn't have stopped there, really, should we? It's quite rude. Are you, are you going to elaborate on what you've just said? Who from Outnumbered? A uh, tiger drew honey. Oh, sounds about right, yeah. His parents were porn stars. Fair. What nationality? Uh, probably English is what I was, what I was thinking about. I don't know. I just don't know that for sure, actually. Well, that you could, if you research these people, you could take off England as well. I could do. I'll do. I'll do I really need to. Rec- and, you, and you've already got. You've already got one fact. Their kid is in outnumbered. <laughs> yeah, that is one fact. Yeah. I have to do two more now. Pulling well, a tiger is a giveaway. Yeah, I suppose that is a. Yeah, that does. A Tiger Woods uh, parents porn star. Yeah, probably, yeah. Is that true? I don't. Gobble on. Is that is, is that is that true about Tiger Woods? Is Tiger Woods Tiger is Tiger Woods um, birth name Tiger or has he changed that? Uh, no idea. No, I, I don't know. Tiger with a Y, though. Tiger with a Y is a big red flag. How many people have you ever met in your life called Tiger with I a Y? I think if you met a tiger, that would be a red flag. I think you'd want to... Really, you shouldn't show them a red flag because really they'll get oh, angry. they'll get angry. No, that's a, that's a good goal. That's they'll a good point. If you see, I'm think, don't wave a red flag at a tiger. I'm thinking of bulls. I'm sorry. Mm, is it bulls, the same tigers. with tigers? Does anyone know? Would a tiger be enraged get, by it? By a by a uh, by a red flag, someone could just check that out. I think it's important to raise awareness of that. That's why I need to post. I need to post my TikTok. Yes, you should. Well, Mighty Fighty made a very good one that I, I that I that I think. I, I, I should post that. I can't imagine Mighty Fighty really wants to. Well, no, maybe Mighty Fighty would like to put his own name to it. I don't want people to think I'm some sort of fraud. Oh, we're going too fast around this point. Yeah, we were going to. <laughs> oh, oh, we were going too fast around the corner. No, you made you made a love actually TikTok. Right? Are you going to claim you didn't? You're going to say I didn't make that, and you can't damage cod. <laughs> Do you ever sometimes assess the things that you're saying out loud? Yeah, all the, all the time, and it's it's a worry, isn't it? Sometimes. I had to explain something to my mum earlier, and it's it's it's. I'd say it's it's on a part if she'd come in and and there'd been some porn open. Um, my mum came in earlier, and I had some of the pobots open on the computer. <laughs> so I had to explain why my face was on C-3PO's face, <laughs> and I, I didn't I couldn't really explain. They don't understand what this. They don't they don't they don't know. They don't. They no. don't get it. Fair, just, fair enough, how, right? How can you justify that? Yeah, parents, I couldn't. I couldn't can't. really. And so, yeah, so just a, just a, just a, just a, into, just like, a funny thing I made. I said, "Oh, but people, people find that funny, do they?" It's like, well, not, all, not, all, not, not. Is that not, the response? Well, it wasn't quite as cutting. It wasn't quite as witty as that. Do you know the thing? I'll tell you another thing. My mum did earlier. You know, you know Tesco's premium range. Uh, taste the difference. Yes. Uh-huh. My mum was trying to recall oh, yeah. the name of that earlier, and she 
She thought it was called Too Good For You. It's sort of Tesco selling a range of products which like yeah. went down the it's consumer. Not, not, not for you, is it? <laughs> Think again. That's good. Mums are funny, aren't they? Mums <laughs> are funny, yeah. My grandma um, oh, shit. once sorry. got, she mispronounced Bonafi pie, um, on Fanny pie, and that's the that's thing good. that we always remember. That's good. That's the thing we like to recall that often. Bonafi pie. I think I said. I think even I um, mispronounced it. Oh, an interesting bit of chat law now. A shitehawk's dad is ninja. All right. Yeah. People just say stuff online, don't they? No, I think that's probably true. All right. It's a shame. It's a shame for Shitehawk that that Ninja's never, never given, you know, ne never given Shitehawk a bit more exposure. Um, I suppose he doesn't want. He doesn't want. Shitehawk doesn't want to be an Epo baby, I guess. Yeah. Just to make his own way. There we are. We'll. We'll help out Shite Hall. Yeah, thanks. Alright. Yeah, I should have said this is not for you to keep going. Yeah, I think it's admirable. I think it's admirable, Shite Hall. I don't think she really said it. I don't think it was really that She's not she's not blessed with a with a razor sharp wit. I was watching Richard Richard Osman's House of Games with my mum the other day while we were having lunch. And I I paused it so she'd have more time to work out the question. And it was the rhyming round. And it, 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 the clues were um, uh, the type of type of dance that Darcy Bustle was famous for and a port a port town in the north of France. And I helped her get to ballet. And I put just what's a what's a God, what's a French city? What's a French city that rhymes with ballet? And and she thought about it for a bit, and she said Paris. She said Paris. Kidding. With like no hint of irony. No. Or... No. Famously inland, Paris. Yeah, famously inland. She's been to Calais. <laughs> on the way to Paris? Uh, I don't, no, I don't think it was on the way to Paris. Maybe she pronounces it Paris. Like they do in France. Even then, that doesn't rhyme with ballet. No, I know. I, I can't. I'm... But yeah, Paris. Is it Paray? <laughs> like on Talk <laughs> Sport. <laughs> Mike Paray. Yeah, Mike Paray. <laughs> he's a toss pot in real life. I can, I mean, he's, he's a toss pot in. in on, on the radio. On the radio, as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but believe it or not, he's one of, he's one of the people who. Um, there's, there's few of them, like um, you, you, people, you know, tossers like on the radio. They, their tosser persona is just a yes, facade. Yes, I and can, kind of I can right. imagine that. He is literally yeah, the same it's bad on, on off air. Yeah, I can imagine. Because that's always my worry. If I was to meet fucking Jacob Rees-Mogg or something, he'd probably be yeah. very nice in real life. He'd be polite, wouldn't he? Be yeah, I mean, I don't think nice is, is maybe loaded because he's obviously still well. B believes and does yeah. horrendous things, but he'd you yeah. know he'd be polite if you spoke to him, wouldn't he? he would, which is and, it, and of course it's always very disarming. Because like I've spoke to Farage. Yeah, and I bet so. the same with Farage. I bet he's fine to chat to. Uh, we could talk about grim. history. <laughs> I made, you know my Julia Hartley Brewer story. I do know your Julia Hartley Brewer story. 
Aye, aye, aye. He has a long illicit relationship. Uh, no, Pete, I'm too tired for libel. <laughs> okay, that, 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 that's probably not true. <laughs> thanks, thanks for <laughs> Yeah, I think that's turned up. It's funny. It has, yeah. He would be uh, a be constantly... Funny if someone... uh, uh, yeah, I'm not saying I'd like him, Shitehawk. I'm, I'm saying he'd be polite. Uh, only, uh, only uh, uh, what, Julia? You were, you were colleagues, weren't you? Uh, I thought that uh, sign said ass then, but it was A55. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're on the A55. Makes more piece. sense, doesn't it? What's it called? The North Wales Expressway, I think that's what this is. The North Wales Expressway? I think that's what they call it. I could be wrong. Is the, the story is uh, basically what? you you found a, you found a, you found a horrible man for Julia to talk to on the radio. Yeah, and she was great. Overjoyed. Yeah, she was very very grateful. I found a right wing Norwegian journalist to speak to about probably some atrocity that happened in Norway. I don't know. I don't can't remember it's exactly easy what. to find a right wing Norwegian, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's so Nordic. So. Gleeful uh, that this man was so abhorrent <laughs> uh, that she came into the office uh, after that, uh, after her interview with him, and asked, "Who booked me that Norwegian guy? He was bloody brilliant." And I had to put my hand up, and she went, "Well done, Harry. Everyone can learn a thing or two from you." Everything can learn a thing or two from you. And did everyone else in the room what, make I don't know. fun of you for that forever? I got, I got a little bit mocked for it, yeah. Yeah, which I think is probably... In my student radio days, I found John Gaunt's number and had a right daft time with it. John Gaunt blocked me on Twitter for no frigging reason. I think it's because oh, sorry. I, I retweeted oh, something sorry. that Ian Lee put out once. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. John Gaunt's a weird guy. Um, I've got a document on some old computer somewhere that probably has John Gaunt's number on it. Oh, we're in Hollyhead. Yay. Peep, peep. We've got George Galloway's number, as we all know. Yeah, very <laughs> cursed phone. One of the weirdest things ever, oh, Pete, that I've experienced in my lifetime was getting a phone call from Anthea Turner. <laughs> Out of the blue. Out of the blue? Yeah. <laughs> what did Anthea want? She was trying to set up some sort of radio interview, and like I, I was like away from the radio station. I, I was only doing like sort of freelance spots at it. Like this is three weeks, three weeks after like one of my spots at this radio station. Anthea Turner calls up trying to get on the radio. <laughs> and, like, I just Tell listened to what that. she was saying. She was trying to plug some sort of like um, sports project Can thing. I don't know what it was. It was weird. I was going to ask when's when's Glang again. I, I noticed Gomlon was talking about Glang. I've forgotten when Glang is. It's the beginning of March, isn't it? Right. In that London. In that London, yeah. Are you going to go to it, Pete? I don't know. The first time that is that is that is very much the beginning of March, isn't it? Couldn't be more Can't the get beginning of more... oh, <laughs> We're too in sync, you and me, with the things we say. Right. Okay. We both we're we're going to Dublin joke at the same time. We're going to Dublin. Okay, here we go. I think it's ironic that you said we're going to Dublin twice okay. there. You Sarah doubled your Dublin. I did, yeah. Oops. I reckon D on Dublin is nice in real life. Do you think so? Probably. He does homes under the hammer, doesn't he? That's what he does, like. Yes. And the occasional uh, BBC football punditry. Didn't he do the Women's World Cup or something? And got and, 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 and clearly never seen a game of women's football in his life. Possibly, Pete. Sounds like the kind of the BBC game. get the BBC get all of their pundits out for the World Cup because there's so much to cover. They get Jonathan Pierce out for it. Yeah, Jonathan Jonathan Pierce has always done. Um, I guess because he's always slight, he's always been slightly down the pecking order, uh -huh. which is where women's football used to be. Mm -hmm. um, so I think he's always done a bit of he's always done the kind of a lot of the women's commentary so I've got stuck on a bollard 
didn't see. Yeah, them. you're making an ass of this. Yeah, I didn't see them. It's incredible to watch. There. Didn't see. Well, I'm sort of wiggling off it. it. Well, are you? Well, you're not making much progress. I didn't, I didn't want to draw attention to this, Pete. I was happy to let this slide. Well, I wish it would slide. It's sort of stuck. Oh, there we go. Right. That's good. Okay, the cord has got a bit damaged. Okay, Impossible. We're, we're, we're in Ireland now. Dion seemed nice in, nice in MasterChef. I've not, I, 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 I didn't. I never really watched MasterChef. Do you ever watch the Lloyd Grossman era of MasterChef? Not, not, not Did really. No, like I've seen some of it. You hate Don Goodman. Yeah, he does. He, he's always been a very stupid pundit. Hmm. He used to have big hair, Don Goodman. That was his. That was. That was. That was one of his things. Shitehawk, that I've just read your uh, John Gaunt razzle anecdote. That's good. That's fun. That is fun. It's good yeah. and fun. That is good. That's so mid two thousands. <laughs> that is that is an amusingly mid two thousands anecdote. <laughs> if a Leeds player cured cancer, Don would say he was offside. Wow. It's odd they'd get him into pundit that, isn't it? It is like what a lot <laughs> what of questions are getting that? thrown up here. <laughs> what's the lead? What's the lead player doing oh, in the on. laboratory? Oh, yeah. Breaking news: Cancer's just been caused. Just been just been caused. Let's go to our <laughs> expert pundit on the scene. It's Jay Stone Goodman. Yeah, it's offside. VAR. <laughs> yeah. It could happen. Patrick Bamford's a very smart guy. Patrick Bamford is a is a is a footballer. Harry. All right. What is football, Pete? It's we, it's a sport, Harry. It's a sport. Oops. How do you know that I've? I'm just I'm just tallying this up here. I've I've subtitled 90 minutes of Sky Sports news today. Have you? What are the what are the big stories? Uh, Christian Horner. Um, oh yeah, Christian Horner's oh, yeah, done something bad, odd. right? Yeah. Does, does yeah, it, yeah, is yeah. it? Is it? Is it? Allegedly. Is it secret what, get what he has or hasn't done, or is it? I don't. I only know what's being said on the television. I don't know any of the details of it. I just know that. Doctor Plem investigated. Would know that here. Uh, probably Plem would know. Yeah. Doctor Plem would actually I didn't, be all I, over this. I didn't. I didn't know the King Charles news. Did you not? And I've been looking at the news all day. I had no idea. Pete, you're pushing a policeman out of the way. Yeah, That's really funny. Yeah, I know. No. <laughs> And not draw attention to it. They they work right. Uh, I've been I've been working since six a.m. Right, and I came off at six o'clock this evening, and then the news broke at six, and I just had no idea. Like there were no clues at all throughout the day. Like usually, like you know, I'm ahead of the curve a little bit. I knew about yeah. the Queen. No idea about the Charles news. My mum announced it to me when I went downstairs. <laughs> How, how? What tone of voice did you oh, take? Oh, solemn. Did, did, uh, as you said, uh -huh. yeah, King Charles has got cancer, she said. It's a... <sighs> Look, uh, I don't know how I've, I'm reacting to it in all honesty. Obviously, I don't like the royals. It's, it's not nice, is it? No, to it's it, not though? nice to have cancer in your presumably ass. <laughs> it's not even... Is it not ass cancer? It's not... The, it's, 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 it's not prostate they found it during his prostate exam it's something else but they've not specified what oh okay we really, really uh, get to see his coins no i mean it is it's not yeah it's not it's not nice for someone to have cancer is it no i wouldn't i'm just I putting out you know, i don't mean to make, make controversy you know and i know some streamers mm. like to put those those kind of controversial views out there for it's weird, isn't it, Pete? Right, just because of the audience that we get on Twitch of like anti-royalists, right? And I, I'm an anti-royalist as well, but we have to justify this sort of yeah. thing just to appease <laughs> yeah. people like Bread Santa. Yeah. Isn't that? Isn't this horrible? <laughs> <laughs> Is this an anti-cancer? Uh, yeah, I'd say I'd say my I mean, not not. It's not. Um, that's not its sole purpose. Yeah, I mean, he's not had a bad life, has he, Fluff Weasel? And he's also, it's not tragic, is it? He's very old.
still wouldn't ever want anyone. No, I, I'm not. I wasn't. I wasn't to have that. No, I'm, I'm talking about like what Fluff Weasel's saying here. Like even like you know, if you've had a life of wealth and privilege, sure, that's it doesn't mean you're a great guy. But I still want. I would not want anyone. <laughs> now I've got enemies. I wouldn't want any of my enemies to have cancer. that. I think that's it's really it's, yeah, cancer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, I, I realize. I realize the. Um, I realize the contradictions. I. 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 I I'm putting out that gobble on. Yeah. He only smokes cancer-free cigarettes. That's um. I'd say that's good advice generally. You should probably try and smoke if you are going to smoke. The cancer-free ones are the way to go, aren't they? Yeah. There's a Green Wing um, scene where uh, they swap in the in the uh, HR office. The uh, the, the ladies in, in the office they swap their uh, cigarettes around. Uh, based on the health warnings. That's that's good. Like one, yeah. One pack like stunts your growth or lowers your sperm <laughs> count. The other one, I don't know. Yeah, that's right. They they are in the two they are in the too good for you range. Yeah. I love too good for you. That's brilliant. That's I, so so funny. I think she's just found out. You know, you can get there's that app where you can you can get. Like uh, oh, shops yeah, yeah. leftover stuff for cheap, which I think is called something too like good too good to, to waste too or too good to, good to go. go. I think she's got yeah, yeah, that. That's what I think. That's what she had in her head. Um, that that's confused her. I think perhaps. But why do you think she would have ever used that app? Because I've started using that app. It's an alright app. My brother um, sort of got her right. onto it. Yeah, they love they love right, a bit right, of value. Right. They love a bit of theoretical value. It's so funny using that app, right? And you go to like a Greg's at the set time, like eight o'clock or something, and there's four other people with their phones open in the exact same predicament as you, waiting for the same handout as you. It's a hilarious experience. Brilliant. Yeah, maybe she did. Maybe she had the minder theme in her head. Dennis Waterman. It was Dennis Waterman that confused her. I think what I like a lot about the Too Good For You uh, range, range is yeah. that it suggests the, the normal range <laughs> is for plebs only. Yeah. It's like the yeah. scumbag pro uh, range. <laughs> yeah, I think that's good. That is a joke for the kids, yeah. Do you know the theme tune to Minder? Oh, actually, we do know the bloody theme tune to Minder, don't we? Because Paddy sings it at the end of his awful stand up show. I remember it from Little Britain primarily. Oh yeah, and Little Britain. Yeah. I've never done that one on stream. Maybe I won't. No, please don't. What? Don't sing the oh, don't you... theme tune to Minder. Uh, 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 if you want to stream Little Britain, Pete, there is I don't arguably want to stream. pornographic scenes in it. I don't want to stream. It should be right Britain, up your. Thank you. Streaming pornography is your forte, right? I don't think I wouldn't say it's my forte. Would you say it's your gimmick? No, I don't think I would say it's a gimmick. I don't think it's a gimmick. Would you say it's your area of expertise? Would I you say it's your US? Page? Well, I have researched two different porn stars on stream. So, does that count I must as expertise? Tell you, yes. You you are overdue a porn star research session here. You are in a different country. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, we could do it at the end of the job here because we're, we're nearly we're nearly in Limerick. There is a little Brit Britain game on the PS2. Maybe there is, the there is a little well. Britain game. Um, Tom uh, Walker um, played that on stream, but didn't show the game. He just showed a close up view <laughs> of his own face while he was playing it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I had considered doing it on my stream, but then I thought, like, for what reason? No one yeah, would enjoy it. No, you wouldn't enjoy it. It's probably. No, it's. Not. I assume. I don't know anything about it, but I'd assume it's a, a completely horseshit game. It's just. I think it's notoriously one of the worst PS2 oh, games. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Made. Yeah. It yeah, appears I, on lists. Well, I just can't imagine it was any thought or effort was put into it at all. How oh, much like the TV series as well? Yeah, exactly like the TV series. There is a Coronation Street game, isn't there? That that would be that would be better to do on stream. On the PS2? I don't think it was on the PS2. 
I've always been, I've been a bit curious to play those, you know, DVD games. Remember them? There was yeah. like a sort of a yeah, that was of... that was a very that was a very specific locked to a very specific time, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it's yeah, very much like. Play, a, <clears throat> I think it's very much like a DVD game, but I think it is on the on the PC. Right. Boris in Ossery. A nice place name. Oh, shit. Right, okay. Let's get this. Let's get this delivered. Yeah, Boris in Ossery. Oh. I don't think the. Uh, I don't think the Little Britain game is very PC. Eh? Hey. <laughs> I don't get it. It just he wasn't available on the PC. He had to get it on console. Right. And it's probably got blackface right. in it. And I don't know. I'm trying to think, was that ever is all... problematic? Fluffy used to live with a Malaysian guy years ago who used to watch Little Britain on repeat. Alright. I did and watch was that it a bad thing when it was on, but, you know, there were less channels in those days. Yeah. And I was... I was... How old was I when Little Britain came out? In my... I don't, when was Little Britain? Like, 2000, the early, very early 2000s. I think, oh, two, I think it was 2002, oh. it was 2003-ish, maybe. Uh, did you ever Britain. listen to the radio series? I probably did at some point. Is that is that is that better? I, th I think it's a bit more thoughtful, the radio series. I guess it would uh, have to be, because the TV, cause the TV like series is all in. very visual, isn't it? Like, a lot, yeah, it's all uh, prosthetics. I think it became a bit more... It That's became good. a lot more heartless when it went to TV, I believe. Oh, hang on. Fl Fluff Weasel, much like our pro-cancer stats... Uh, Fluffers has come out with the equally controversial I am not a Little Britain fan. That's pretty controversial, to be fair. Where are you on the Venn diagram, Fluffweasel, of people who like Little Britain <laughs> and hate cancer? Just anti both, probably. Can you please draw up that um, Venn diagram, Fluff Weasel, and send it on Peter Discord? <laughs> on the radio show, on you radio can't show tell you it. No, that is true, yeah. Oh. You can tell if they're adopting some sort of like yeah, offensive password, yeah. though, can't you? It's a circle. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> Right, Limerick discovered. Nice. You're in Wogan country now. <laughs> in Wogan country. I don't think he was a porn star though. Um, that's probably true. Although there was that particular episode of uh, Points of View where he was showing his full package essentially through those tight trousers. <laughs> Do you remember that? How raunchy would an episode of Points of View have to be before it became classified as porn? <laughs> what kind of limerick? No, I think you're confused. It's the it's the one the one that's about to get sixteen tons of cod, twenty percent damaged. Right, how much money do you think I'm gonna get for this delivery? You're probably gonna get nothing but a slap in the face with yeah. a wet cod. A wet, damaged. They won't be able. To, they won't even be able to get one intact enough to slap me with. <laughs> it will just fall apart. Um, let's play it safe, as we're already going to get nothing. Yeah, the mighty fight has got a good point. I should just explain. I should just explain. <laughs> I'll explain the situation that I had to reenact um, Max and Paddy's Road to Nowhere, um, and that I um, and that you can't damage cod.
I'll do that to the to the tune of You Can't Hurry Love. Which I just now remember they have sang on stream. Mm -hmm. I have to really ration the singing because it's not it's not a good feature. Yeah, you can have too, you can have too much of a good thing, can't you? But you can you, also have too much of a really shit thing. And in many ways, that's worse. Shit. Well, I'm not good at singing, am I? Pete, I don't think anyone is forcing you to say on your stream. Well, no, no, I know that. I, I know they're not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, 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 oh, I enjoy it though. It wasn't about. Oh. It wasn't. It wasn't a cod-based song. Right there, we go. There we go. This card's delivered. How much? How much money do you think we're going to get from this? Probably the one fun, euro. They'll probably knock a little bit off for the damage, but I'd imagine. Uh. Yeah, it was thirty-two hours late. Oh, please. It was thirty-two hours late. It was twenty percent damaged. Um. Um. But in other news. Irish. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not going to go to that website. Uh, what I want is a tab. I don't want to go on. I don't want to go on babepedia.com top babes in Ireland. Imagine if your okay. parents got an itemized bill from your ISP <laughs> of all the websites yeah. you accessed. <laughs> Okay, I found an interview with Andy Lee from Dublin. Right, sure. And he's claiming, okay, the headline is, Irish porn star claims to have Ireland's biggest penis. <laughs> How big is it? Five inches. <laughs> uh, ten and a half inches is his, is his claim. Okay. Any photographic evidence? Um, no, there's a picture of him in the bath, but it's, he's tactfully covered by bubbles. Although I'm sure, I'm sure if I looked, that you could find, you could probably find a photograph of it. You could probably find pornography of him, yeah. Okay, so that's probably. certainly that's that's the best fact we've found so far. Okay, he um he 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 quit life as a plumber to be a porn star. Has he ever done any porn films in which he plays a plumber? Almost definitely. Mm -hmm. My only complaint is that Instagram banned me if I post photos in tight shots and I can't wear budgie smugglers at the beach. Yeah, okay, these are good facts. Um... I think you've done three facts there. He claims to have been with over one thousand women. He doesn't say what for, but I think we can, we can, we could, we could assume. That's got to be at least three facts. That's four facts. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's well, the one. The, the final, the final one you just read there is just that's hyperbole, isn't it? It's well, that's what he PSA. said. I mean, I'm just reading. This is this was in the Irish Mirror. That is, that I believe is the many. first three more than I believe that fourth one. Well, thanks for that, Pete. That's a that's a porn star. That's fine. That is a porn star. Yeah, that's done. That's his CV you're I, talking about. I don't know when where the end game is on this uh, donate that I gave you. No, one, that one doesn't have a. Which I mean, it's my fault for not specifying it at the time. I think, but uh, yeah, you're right. That is an issue. But look, okay, so we have you actually to... we can cross some stuff off the list. We have now done the Max and Paddy thing. That can go. Progress. We've been to Ireland. That can cross off the list. Oh, and just save. Okay, 
which of these requests are you most looking forward to completing next? <laughs> yeah, well, we need to work out what we're going to do now, don't we? So what do we, what can we do? It'd be nice to just do something quiet to end on, wouldn't it? It is, it is nearly 10 o'clock. Do you want to try John O'Groats? You'll get there pretty quick. We could get to John O'Groats, couldn't we? We could get to John O'Groats. Um, we could get to John O'Groats. We could try not to speed. That's one of them. Mm-hmm. Don't you go can try screaming. To... Try not to hit anything. We can try and do that. Oh, I can. I know it has to be a twenty-plus-hour job where I have to get people in chat's name wrong. <laughs> yeah, that that yeah, I, that that I think I think Fluffy saw this. Were all facts about Terry Wogan. Okay, let's do that. Then. Let's let's try and get to let's try and get to John O'Groats without speeding or hitting anything. Best of luck. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Right, okay. Maybe we should take a quick break before we do that. Let's let's try and find a job. Let's try and find a job. Oh, because we don't have a truck. We've only got a uh, We've only got a we can only do quick jobs. But that's fine. We just need to try and get to Thurso. What's going to Thurso? Oh hang on, no, we need the other. Oh, we, we, we could go you could go you got a Shet- uh, Shetland there. Could, yeah, the, I suppose um, we could go anywhere, anything this that? way, couldn't we? Hmm. Or the um, Faroe Islands, even. Or even the Faroe Islands, yeah. Uh, we have to find destination. Oh, these are backwards. Okay, that's fine. If you wanted to cheat, Pete, you could start from John O'Groats. Would that be cheap? No, because that's not a destination, is it? That's uh. You could start from the Faroe Islands and go to John O'Groats. <laughs> yeah, we could. No, there aren't always um, they they aren't all they, not everywhere always has somewhere available, you know. Hmm. Oh no, I need to go to Thurso. Oh, it doesn't matter. There are any jobs going to Thurso. Boo. It's lots to go to Thessalonica. What's going from Limerick where we are? Hmm. No. So what if we go from uh-huh. Larn? Larn to Stranra. Oh no, that's 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 not that's not very far at all. Stranra! Stranra! In Scotland! Stranra! We've been to Portree. That's Phoenix Knights. Yeah, I got it. Phoenix got it. Knights. I got it, yeah. Yeah. Episode one, series one. Um what's going well I suppose we know nothing's going there. Say something Pete. Tell you something I've noticed from your streams and your gameplay. You bloody love a menu, don't you? I don't love a menu, it's just the games have me- the games have menus. I mean what can I do? You're just clicking through every aspect of a menu, don't you? No, the the games you have to you have to click the menu to get the game to work. Uh, yeah, and you love it, don't you? No, I don't think I do. I think it's quite it's quite a tedious element of of a lot of the streams. Oh, why do you spend so much time in a bloody well, because menu? Because I can't. There isn't. A, I have to work out how to get a job up here. Um. We could do that one, I guess. Clem in the chat. Clem for Pete loves every menu, please. <laughs> Clem. 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 Yeah. Domlon says Clem. <laughs> Domlon's inciting. Domlon's inciting Clem in the chat. Inciting Clem. Yeah. Listen, just be grateful. That's the only thing that Domlon's inciting. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's a good point. Okay, should we take? We can take some dry milk from the Faroe Islands to Par. That's a nice idea. Can you damage dry milk? Um, I think genuinely you can make it wet. Probably not. Yeah, exactly. You can only make it wet. And then that's that's the end game, anyway, isn't it? I suppose so. Yeah. So it's it's what you want, isn't it? Really, yeah. you want wet, dry milk. At the what end they day. complained about. Right. Let's take a quick break, and then we'll get this. We'll get this dry milk delivered. And this one might not. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Dry milk. Right, okay. I'll see everyone in a minute. So what we're doing, I'm looking for a little boy. 
that's an awful thing for it to just clip straight to. Oh, okay. Right, that's, I'm back in a minute. Page, let me see, Larry. Right, okay. Great. This guy's been greeted. Can I decank the sad? Um, yes, although not right now. I will, I, I will, I will for, for uh, I will for the future. Spend your DNA points as often as you can. This is me live. This is no longer a clip. Hello. Hello, Clark. I'm back here. I'm back here. Uh oh. Yeah, I should've. I should've. I can't believe I didn't think that was... Even for a second, I shouldn't have believed that wouldn't happen, should I? There's so many clips of me saying, oh, this definitely isn't a clip. I think it's fine with it. Oh. Oh, yeah, I've got a central bit of a spot of bother here. Okay, I shouldn't have left. I shouldn't have driven. Sure, what my not, yeah, I might need to refer back to that, right? Yep, <laughs> why, why is that also been clipped? We do need more people on clips. I think what I should it all keeps adding up. I think I'm cracking her heart. Am I just paranoid? Oh, yes, Am I just oh, trying? Go, Go Bridge Guna has mega fist the stream with 15 pounds. Your well, cut from the Bread Santa hustle. He has sent me the 107 pounds. <laughs> yes! Use your use your names or whatever. <laughs> Catbox sounds a bit fizzy. Oh yeah, too fizzy. Yeah. Good use of the fizz emotes. Just two forms. Yeah. Telephone is a bop. To be fair, do you think, what, we think the ghost was singing uh, "Telephone" by is it Rihanna or Beyonce? Oh, I don't know. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. That's key of time, it's not a ghost. Kebab. It's kind of clipped into his body there. Yep. Yeah. Who is Trini and who is Susanna? Um, which one do you think you are, Pete? Are you Trini or Susanna? I don't really know the difference. Oh, he seems to have put it on fire now. That's a that's a point, is that? I'm not gonna fight Jesse Nelson. Now, hang mm. on, don't I agree with Little Mix? Don't I agree? I, I don't remember why I said I agree with Little Mix. I probably 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 fair enough. Um right, let's uh let's get this milk to Perth. Oh, hello, Adben. Adben underscore underscore. Thank you for the thank you for the eight month of sub. Have you, uh, hello, I'm back. Have you jazzed up your hello. name, Adben? Hasn't that always been Adben's name? Has he always been Adben underscore underscore? Never noticed. Yeah, there's always there's always been punctuation after Adben's name, right? Maybe. I, I, I... Hello, hello, Adben. I think the underscores were between that. Uh, I'm not sure. The um the latest uh, DLC was the West Balkans Gomelon. That's why that's why that's being promoted. Um, I don't have it, 
But I think I do have it modded in. There was a three where or something. Are we? That's what I was thinking. Right, we're in the where Faroe Islands. Currently? This is the Faroe Islands. Right, right. Um, is this a new country piece? Oh, shit, yeah. We just got here. Yeah. And we are about to leave, actually. Yeah, exactly, all, exactly. All right, yeah. How is um, this different to a menu? I suppose it is quite different to a menu, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know if there are many Faroese porn stars. Well, I might well, let you get off with the Danish. Please don't say you'll let me get off. I'll let you get off with Danish. I meant to say let you get away with, but... Look, we, we all know what people have said. Can someone explain to anyone that's just come in what I'm doing? And by anyone, no. I mean probably you, Harry. If anyone attempts to explain this, I'm going to time them out. <laughs> Who's Danish? Uh, Peter Schmeichel? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. it's probably uh, Thomas Sorensen? Th Thomas Sorensen, yeah. He was, uh, for, he was a goalkeeper at he Sunderland. He was at Sunderland, yeah. Yeah, that's what I know him for. I'm trying to think of any non-footballing Danes now, but it's 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 really um it's really uh sorry. Every time Pete passes a border in this game and enters a new country, he has to research a porn star from that com uh, from that country and find three facts about them. Harry, Babepedia hasn't let us down. It has an article. Cool. All well, right. There's a, there's a part of the site that is top babes per country. And there is an article that's top babes in Faroe Islands. Fair. How many entries are there on this? Um, I'm, um there's more. Uh, two. Hmm. And one of them has no photo available. What's the population of the Faroe Islands? Uh, I don't know. I've not been asked to research that. <laughs> no. But like, if there's only two porn stars on the Faroe Islands. They, they must be very, very well known amongst the entire population. <laughs> you'd, you'd almost think they're doing like a civic duty. The entire yeah. population. Well, they're appointed they're like... by the... <laughs> yeah. It's handed down. <laughs> From father to son. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to search this person's name, aren't I, to try and get facts about them that aren't just their measurements. 38.6 people live on the Faroe Island. <laughs> this site lists their age as 31 years young, but it's in like a profile style. Okay, I'm now typing in the name of specifically a Faroese porn star and then writing the word facts after it to see if that <laughs> see if that helps. Thank you, Maggie, for doing some research. Thanks. So that's so if you divide that by two, you you, you know the um you know the you can work out the uh the number of Faroese people there are per porn star. Uh, this looks like there's just, just other people with the same name. Okay, there's a there's a Twitter or X account. Okay. I'm not calling it X, you know? You just did. You made an effort to call it X just then. Yeah, but I, I don't... But I felt bad about it. Oh, it wants me to log in. I don't want to do that. I don't even know if this is the. I don't think no, that's not it. Right, okay, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to try and. We're gonna have to try and harvest these facts from from Babepedia. Um, if this becomes too difficult to ask, I'm dangling the Danish carrot. Well, I've got I, again. That's probably the name of one of their films. No. I've got. I've got lots of measurements. Uh, it looks like she's, she she supports Man United. Right. Okay. What's her name? Sorry. Uh, Katrina Marie. Mm. Man United um, fan, sure. Good fact. She lives, she's based in Copenhagen, Denmark, but was born in the Faroe Islands. Right. She's known as the Manchester United Babe. 
that's sort of derivative of fact one, isn't it? It is, yeah, but I'm, there's not a lot to go on here. I can tell you a birthday. It's coming up soon, actually. It's the 15th of February. Fair. That, these are good, that's a good fact. I think that's three right there, Pete. That's three. You can tell more if you want. I don't. You seem I don't. to be on a roll. I don't think the stream is 18 plus because only I'm I, only I'm seeing the the I'm just I'm just it's just facts, isn't it? If you'd it's like to pick a, just words. it's just it's, exactly, it's just words, right? It's just words. If you'd like to pick a future destination uh, for subbing uh, Advent, you can do that. Meanwhile, we're going to get these this of course dry milk to Perth. And we're going to try not to hit anything or speed on the motorway. And we've actually turned the wrong way, so that's that's um, that's. Are you sure you're shipping dry milk? Because according to your lorry, it seems as though you're shipping <laughs> Smiral Blue Water. Well, that's probably the name of the the brand. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what is milk if not if not if not blue water? Okay, let's try and get out of here. We're not going to speed on the motorways. We're not going to hit anything, so I won't need to say that the thing I can never quite remember. Oh, this is... It is nice. This does look nice on the Faroe Islands. That does look nice. I like the big boat. That's probably the boat that you're going to get on. It's not. At least we're getting on this much smaller oh. one to the right here. That's fine. A boat's a boat. Right, exactly, a boat's a boat. Oh, we just drive on the right, don't we? I think it's an identically sized one, isn't it? Maybe, maybe. We're just seeing it from a different right. angle. That was letting me in, thank you. Now, this sign says stop. We can, we can probably ignore that. Okay, that Breaking that, that lorry says XXXL. Um Ooh. so that's not that's not Okay. Let's get probably, to Scotland. It's probably containing the uh the Irish porn star you were on about earlier. He's probably in that lorry. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> just just sat at one end. That's the only way you can travel. <laughs> Right, okay, so we're getting that. Let's try and find John O'Groats on the map. Or at least the most northerly point, which is I think is this services over here. So we're gonna go via Wick. So we can so we can we can satisfy Gomelon's uh, desire for us to have visited the most northerly part of the mainland. Not gonna crash into anything. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Well, this isn't this isn't a legal percent speed run. You're pretty sure. It's nice to be in Scotland, isn't it? It's nice. I like Scotland. Uh, well, I like. I think I like Scotland. I've never been to the the very north of Scotland. No, neither have I. I'm not sure if I've been. I've been. If I've been. I don't know if I've been further north than Edinburgh. I think the first north I've been, I was a toddler. It might have been Dundee, I think. I've never been to Aberdeen, never been to Inverness. I'd love to go. Yeah. You thought about uh, seeing if you can just drive an electric car there for, for no reason at all. Huh? Of course. Who doesn't think that? <laughs> yeah. I bet it's really easy to do as well and not entirely stressful at all. The weird thing about this video is, is that it's only stressful because he makes it in his own head stressful. Yeah. Because he's not it's, really it's... on any time frame, is he? He's not actually not, no. got to be there for any reason at all. There's literally zero jeopardy, and it's so stupid that he actually drove himself to having nosebleeds in those videos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because it, totally... who cares if there's a bit of traffic, right? He just he, he doesn't need to be anywhere. Exactly. He's got no job. Just to... pull in. Worry about going to? It's not as if, as if he needs to see his family, really. He doesn't really care, does he? No, I hello, think time. To be, oh, hello, Kiko time. We're uh, we're going to John O'Gropes because because Gobelon wanted to. 
King of Time, you've missed so much porn in this stream. There hasn't Jeez. been any porn on the on the stream. There is, the, you know, I, there's been some there's been some facts. But what's wrong with facts? King of Time will have an opinion on Ronan Kemp presenting. Oh yeah, what do you think of Ronan Kemp? King, King of Time, Time is a quiz show host expert. What do you think of Bradley uh, of uh, Barney Walsh as well? They are the, they were the people we were slanging off earlier. Have you seen the new Gladiators, Kate? I know it's not strictly a uh, a quiz show. Or indeed, I think we're que we're queuing yeah, up yeah, questions okay. here for King of Time. We're we're inundating poor yeah, KOT. Okay. What's Ronan? Well, now Kemp King of Time has a yeah, question for us here. That's, that's uh, what is Ronan Kemp posting? Why, I don't know what it's called. Why were we talking about Ronan Kemp? Uh, because I was talking, we were talking about uh, Barney Walsh, and then I said he's like Ronan Kemp. They're trying to make him like the next Ronan Kemp. Ronan Kemp hosts a and daytime quiz called The Finish Line with Sarah Green, yeah, yeah, where yeah. the podiums move. That's what we were talking about. Where's Adben got a Jim Bowen emote from? Is that Jim Bowen? Yeah, Jim Bowen and Emu. And Emu. Second Jim Bowen emote from a different oh, streamer to that, the one he's just sent. Is that that's uh, is that that's that's uh, John's emote? I think. My dad loves Bradley and Barney's road trip show. I think he wishes he had that kind of relationship with his own son. That's a, that's a shame, Katie. I I think I agree with uh, Adben there. You know, uh, Jim Bowen. Yeah. Oh, great presenter. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Do a headlight. It, it's it's. The headlights aren't speeding, are they? That's fine. Uh, who else is in the S tier? Uh, just presenters. presenters. Yeah. Maybe Dick and Dom. I'm biased. Dick and Dom are in the S tier. Well, yeah, but is is remember who's saying this out loud? Oh, yeah. It's me, isn't it? Who's yeah. saying that? Right, this is John O'Groats. Yeah, oh, the listen to the bagpipes. Hold right. on, well, that's here. Uh, what a great detail. Someone's modded in. Is this modded, really? Yeah, I think so. I think this is sweet. Where's the source? Is this guy over here piping? I think he is, isn't he? Does Jim Bowen? So I'm sorry to talk over the bagpipes here, but does Jim Bowen say anything bigoted in Bullseye? I don't think he does, and he's very supportive of um, unemployed contestants. He is, yeah. Right there we go. We've we've we've, we've reached John O'Grace. John, John no racism here, Baldy. We're just visiting Kent. Is it is it racist to visit Land's End? Because Gobelon, so I mean, it's suspicious to do. I, I'll admit now. I'll admit now. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I agree with Shite Hawk. Jim Bowen was a champion of the working class. Yeah, I think he was. Oh, that doesn't count as hitting something, right? That's just driving over a. Nah, You're meant to drive yeah. over that. Probably. Exactly. It's fine. Probably. I can't believe it has a little bagpipe track in when he, when he gets to the most northerly point. What happens when you get to Land's End? You hear like people just he jumping on patties. Oh, sorry, I thought King of Time was saying that about me. <laughs> because I was being accused of being a racist. Oh, that's a pity then. I don't remember being fat phobic. Bloody, actually, Craig wasn't fat phobic on Robot Wars. It was the Razor guy that described mm. um, described the killer lot as fat. It's the most normally put on the mainland, isn't it, Baldy? And also, Gumblon didn't say go to the most northern point. He said go to John O'Groats. I'm going to say something perhaps controversial with regards to the S tier of TV presenters. Yeah. I'm going to throw out the name Dale Winton. <laughs> He's good. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. Supermarket sweep. Classic. Um, Dale Winton's Hole in the Wall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which actually he is good on because that's a complete shit show. Like that's such a that's such a like half an idea made into a show. Yeah, 
It really is. And he he does just about he did just about make it into a, you know, a, it's to make it sort of held held together. Done it, head. Dale Binton was like nineties Rylan Clark Neil. <laughs> was that presenter who did Coke and Drowned a guy? Was that one of Dick and Dom? You're thinking of Michael Barrymore. Yeah, you are thinking of. You're thinking what, of. What do you mean? Am I? What are you on about? Dick and Dom. No, it's just you can use Dick one. and Dom, two guys with, yeah, Michael, with Michael Barrymore. Yeah, Michael Barrymore. Yeah. No, Dad Ben didn't say that. <laughs> was he a good host, Michael Barrymore? Oh, I see. Ad Ben said it. Yeah. Michael Barrymore. I don't think so. No. Because I think he was obviously yeah. very harshly yeah. treated yeah. by the press, yeah. by the media and stuff. But, was, but that doesn't mean um, that doesn't mean that. That doesn't mean that he was good on Strike It Lucky. Was that Strike, was Strike It Lucky that was the name of the show? Strike It Lucky, then it became Strike It Rich, or maybe it was the other way around. Maybe it was Strike It Rich, then Strike It Lucky. It did change its name, I don't know why. It's the same show, same premise. Yes, what is a hot spot not? That's, uh, that's Strike It Lucky. Mm. What was the answer to that? Hot? Not a good spot. Or yeah, not, yeah that's, that was the call and response, right? Yeah. Why is yeah. a hot spot not a good spot? No, yeah. not a good spot. The, the crowd would mumble back in unison. <laughs> okay, we've got to try and speed here. <laughs> yeah, Shite Hawk's got it. <laughs> <laughs> Dale Winton was very good friends with Graham Sudess. I can believe it. Uh, Shitehawk's right, Andy McNabb was in De Bungalow uh, wearing camouflage face paint, even though you know, he could very I, clearly I see his yeah. details. I, so I remember that. And that was the real Andy McNabb, was it? It didn't just. It was, apparently so, yeah. They, oh, they, yeah, they I suppose in as much as anyone would know who yeah. the real Andy McNabb is. That is funny, isn't it? Pretty funny. They got some really random people on there. Is that? I mean, it's not Andy McNabb's target audience, is it? Or oh, children? No, yeah, of course exactly. not. Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so even if he was on like a media junket, he's not gonna, he's not gonna shift in many copies of Bravo Two Zero, is he? From his, from his I appearance the feeling, on, in the bungalow. I get the feeling Andy McNabb's kids probably like the bungalow. Yeah, that's probably true. Gig. Yeah. And took it for a laugh. Yeah, what, what about Andy McDowell? Oh, from, from Brian makes a good point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Katie's yeah, got it. It's just a bloke called Andy. Well, in a sense, yeah. Hmm. Who's, who's killed people? Is that Andy? He, he, was, he was like an SAS guy, right? SAS, yeah. He's written a lot of novels, isn't he? Yeah. Bravo 2. I've never read them. My uncle's got all of them. My uncle's a big fan. My I can imagine my guy. dad having an interest in it. Maybe. Doesn't appeal to me. No. I, I, no. no. I found out the other month that my uncle, who is the Andy McNabb fan, uh, genuinely had the warning. It's the wife ringtone <laughs> whenever my auntie would ring. <laughs> the wife is calling you now. He had that. He named all the folks in his team. Oh, boo for boo for Andy. <clears throat> I don't know Baldy. Uh, what priorities here is about? I've never read it. No, I'm not. about right though. This is a nice uh, coastal road. Hmm? It'd be a shame if someone made you go fast or something. <laughs> it would, wouldn't it? But I can't. I, I don't think that. I can't. I don't think that will happen. I think we'll be fine. I don't think anyone's going to fast. I don't think anyone's going to make me turn right or left suddenly. I just. Can't, I can't imagine any of these things happening. It'd be nice if someone made you turn around though, so you could experience the nice drive again. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, there's plenty of nice drives in the future. I mean, there's plenty of this nice drive to go. Mm -hmm. We haven't hit anything yet, have we? I think we're still on for that. I've not noticed a crash. No, I've got. 
just hit the brakes there, but that's fine. Oh, oh. It's not. It's not. A, it's not. It's uh, not. Um, it's not crashing. I'm this like a second or so. It's not crashing to hit the brakes. It's not crashing to hit the brakes. <laughs> that's what they say on on Top Gear. <laughs> that's what Richard Hammond said seconds before his dragster <laughs> crash. I'm just hitting the brakes. I'm not crashing. <laughs> yeah. And he crashed. Where were you when you found out Richard Hammond had crashed the, the dragster? I, I can't remember. Um, when was it? It was quite a long time ago, though, wasn't it? I What's think 06, 2006 or something. Ooh. Got pulled over by a unmarked police car. Did look like family. It, Sad. That's their holiday ruined. Dad's arrested for a drugs bust. Shithawk thinks he could take Andy with now. He's probably quite old now, isn't he? Not Shithawk. I mean, I mean Andy with now. Yeah, but like SAS guys, they don't forget, do they? They're uh, they're trained. I would imagine they could that, probably still get. No. Probably have punch bags in their garages and stuff like that. He probably has got a punch bag in his garage, yeah. Oh, really? Classic McNabb. You know what I mean? They're, they're sort of like psycho beefcake kind of guys, aren't they? They are a bit like psycho beefcake kind of guys. Yeah, I mean, I'm not suggesting. I'm not saying I would fight someone. That's XSAS. What? If you had to, if you had to, you'd pick McNabb. <laughs> no, I don't think. No, that's that's what <laughs> Shitehawk said. I'm not Shitehawk. <laughs> what about um, Steve Backshaw? Do you think? Do you think he could be a Andy McNabb? See in the SAS? I don't know. I don't actually know much about Steve Backshaw. He's more of a wildlife guy, isn't he's a, he? I think. Yeah, I think he is more of a wildlife guy. Would you would you take on Chris Packham? <laughs> 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 I quite like Chris Packham. I think he seems he's upside. No, he's nice. He's nice. But would you fight him? Would you <laughs> knock him out? Him. See now, he's the opposite. <laughs> he's the opposite of like meeting Nigel Farage, isn't it? Because I, I think he's you know I I agree with everything that he says but hmm. I bet if you spoke to him he'd be he'd be a bit of a wanker. Well, he he blanked me in a lift once. You've told yes, you have goes, said this, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like I I don't blame him for it because you know neurodiverse and he was on a, a press tour that day and it was it's just boring. He was doing work. Do you he think you could have taken Terry track. Nutkins as a question we've got in? I could take Terry Nutkins in his current state very easily. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, and it depends how we're judging the fight, doesn't it? If we go on Mighty Mighty Shushbug rules, can you damage Terry Nutkins at this point? <laughs> depends if he's made of cod or not. <laughs> No, 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 Bully. That's not, that's not, I've actually forgotten what I said now. My point is that some of those people that are like the worst people in the world, if you, if you, if you had to talk to them, they'd be polite, wouldn't they? Bloody tightrope, isn't it? Talking online. You've got so many people just wanting to trip you up at all times. It is certainly true that, I, I, to be fair, I think largely for comic effect. People do take yeah. everything I say in the worst possible faith. Well, Harry's met him and said he was polite, which is where this came I've, from. I've, I've, spoke, to him, I've yeah. spoke to him on the phone. I've never met him. You, Harry, Harry's met their mates, basically. <laughs> Are you friends on Facebook? No, we're not friends on Facebook. I haven't I've been on Facebook. I've him on the phone once. I've spoke to him on the... F no, neither have I, really. I tried to talk to him in a pub in Edinburgh, and he left the pub. Well, what did you say to him? <laughs> what does that say about you, you threatened Baldy? <laughs> then he came back in the pub, then left again. Right, but what's the time span here? <laughs> yeah, because that, that that could be true. If, you do, if you're very, if you're not very specific about the times here, that's true of every conversation. You could say that anecdote about anyone ever you've ever spoken to in a pub, couldn't you? 
So I tried. Oh. To sp- I spoke to someone in the pub, and they left. They they left the pub because they did eventually. Yeah, I bet he smokes. That's why he's always going in and out. That's probably why you like him, Pete, because he's in the cigs. Yeah, that's that's what we chat about, I guess. What do you say? Ooh, <laughs> Nigel, I love a cig, me. What about you? And he's like, oh, yeah. Bloody loves cigs. Mm-mm. Yeah, that, probably, that was like a phone chat. I hate that EU. Love them cigs, though. Best bit about the EU is the duty-free. And Ben asked me who I would fight if I was on a Logan Paul undercard. Like, you know, when they get those, because they get inf- influences, have like the worst, the worst possible boxing matches, don't they? Uh, for money now. Yeah. I'm still uh, eager to see Andy Andy Clem, Clem and King of Time. King of yeah. Time. Yeah. <laughs> I think at least one of them is secretly training for it. <laughs> Guess which one? Like King of Time is doing like Tuesday evening capoeira or something. I think King of Time is doing Tuesday evening buying more locks for his front door. <laughs> yeah. Scared that Andy Plem will turn up. What's the play this martial art? Because it's not capoeira. That's one of the exciting ones. Uh, what was that one in the goodies? Like, he thump. No, that's not playing. That's quite... No. Uh... A kai- you know, Abben might have it. Akaido is uh, mm. is a very traditional, very plain version of judo. I think. I think it's probably close mm. to kido as well. Or um, King of Time would be into uh, karate, but the ones where it's just the forms, where it's all like who can balance. <laughs> You'll be into yoga. Yeah. Sam's not fighting back, so it must be true. <laughs> yeah. Or he's just left. Could have just left. Mm. Or Andy's come round. He's had to hide. <laughs> oh, Who shit. do you think you'd want to have a fight with, though? Well, that was the original you, like, question. I mean, there's was. no one I want to fight specifically. Oh, that, that's not true. I don't, I don't think I don't think I don't want to fight anyone. Um, I don't think I think I don't think, I don't think it's, I don't think there's any conflict I think you could solve with violence. But often they don't want to fight. Like if it at work, at best it's manufactured beef. It's just like they're just paired up, aren't they? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like Grant Bovey and Ricky Gervais did celebrity boxing. <laughs> remember that? that was such a strange pair of... Yeah, exactly. I, mean, I guess it was just the two people that would do it. Mm. Didn't Bob Mortimer get involved in that as well? I think maybe once, yeah. I think I've heard a story about Bob Mortimer like boxing Ricky Gervais. I'd imagine Bob Mortimer is secretly very good at boxing. Possibly. I wouldn't want to get thumped by Bob Moore. No, exactly. I think he'd... Uh, well, he can rip an apple in half, can't he? He's got mm-hmm, good grip mm-hmm. strength. He'd be good on the... Um, he'd be good on the Hercules hold. <laughs> imagine Bob Moore doing that to your... Imagine him doing that to your heart. Just, yeah. Oh. Just, re- just reach in and just, just pull it out. Yeah, just tear it. Just... Yeah, okay. I'd hate to upset Bob Mortimer. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't want to upset... I wouldn't want to upset Bob Mortimer anyway. Because no. he seems nice. And he's got a high condition. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it's true, yeah. Uh, he did it for charity, King of Time. I think it was a sport relief or a comic relief thing. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I can imagine. Hmm. That all rings true, doesn't it? It it scans. You've not crashed once. No, I'm not. I've, I've done that. I'm not, hit, I'm not hit anything. I'm not. I've not been speeding. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I might actually clear those rules. Hmm. Still two hours of the job left, though. So that's not. I should. 
I should stop bringing attention to it because I, I do fear that someone's going to donate. Yes, yeah, so it's mode. almost almost like you're trying to bait someone into. Uh, no, I'm, I wasn't there. I just realised that. I, it's, I promise you, I wasn't trying to. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, is that that's that's very much taking giving with one hand and taking with the other, isn't it? It'll be bad for me. It'll be ba bad for me in 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 the game, but I will get a, a very small amount of money in real life. So, mm -hmm. you know. Tomato, potato. Donato, potato. <laughs> Tomato, potato. Does anyone say potato? I feel like this is very open mic stuff. Is there anywhere <laughs> where that's the pronunciation of potato? No. <laughs> no. They've just come up with one... They, they came up with that one line. They thought, oh, that'd be a good song. And then they, there wasn't really enough of them to make up the song, was there? So they they invent they lied about the potato thing. Well, they didn't call the whole thing off, did they? No. Patrick <laughs> Hang on, is is I don't know the full lyrics of that song because the, the first verse must be tomato tomato, right? Then do they start going on about potatoes? No, I, I think it's I, even I, before. Did... Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Really? It, yeah, I think it's. Yeah, I think I think I, I, I think one of them is either on and either, which actually is fair enough. Add Ben, this is tricky, right? What we're doing here, right? <laughs> isn't this is an art form, and maybe also, we haven't got it quite, nailed it's on. It's quite a loose vibe, I think. I don't think this is this is not very punchy, is it? It's yeah. not very punchy. <laughs> Where are the hits? I, don't, I think <laughs> this, that's, a, a, that's a bad review 40. of open mic comedy. Yeah, exactly. We've really we've really rambled on. <laughs> Very few big laughs. Very, You're not through to the next round, knockout. I'm afraid. Gong. <laughs> it's a loose five hours, yeah. Are there any, um, are there any songs that have got lyrics you've worked out are funny? That's the, that's the other thing they do, isn't it? Uh -huh. um, it's so easy to criticise the conversation here, guys in the chat, but you're the ones listening to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is criticising Harry for watching the McMaster again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, hello, Otaki. Big fish indeed. Just celebrating the sparkling chat. The big fish is not damaged. That's yeah. That yeah, that that card is un, that can't be damaged. Oh yes, here we go. Ding dang do. King of time. Do you think you can damage cod? <laughs> yeah. Or Otaki is also new. Otaki as well. Can cod be damaged? And Ad Ben, I think, wasn't well here for the, the COD uh... chat, actually. <laughs> yeah. People who don't know what we're on about, yeah. answer this question. Can you damage COD? Absolutely, says King and of Time. COD, says our Taffy. Yeah, like the fish. Yes, <laughs> COD can be damaged. Please take it up with my spider shushbox, who, who really insisted. I'd message them, but... <laughs> <laughs> Their inbox is stuck with, stuck with just, just scales yeah. and cards. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think their point was, the COD's already dead. Can it be any more damaged from that point? To which my answer was still yes. Yeah, no, it absolutely can. Uh, no, not, not Call of Duty. That can be damaged as well, though, right? You could snap a disc. In half. I think you've struggled to deliver 16 tons of it to Limerick. Mm. I think if you'd fished. A King of Time's done a joke. I like King of Time's joke. I'm going to pin. Yeah, if you could, that, that would be. That, that's great. That's, there we are. There we are. Is that, okay. So anyone who comes into the stream knows that this is a banter stream <laughs> yeah, with good jokes is, in it? This is good. Is any, any fans of the truck game in? Um, um, then we're. We're sorry about we're sorry about the king's ass, <laughs> and um, enjoy that joke. 
I, this is wrong of me, but I, I assume, I assume that people that are really into the truck game will be broadly pro monarchy. No, I can believe that. Yeah. That wasn't the official. I, that wasn't my official diagnosis, that Ben. No, and I, I'm not. I wasn't. I wasn't the doctor. I'm not the doctor. I'm trying to read our Tafki's message here, and it's taken me three attempts, but I, get, I keep getting so <laughs> bored halfway through it. Oh, I just can, can't can, it. can you ban KOT? <laughs> no, no, the, the one before. <laughs> but yeah, I'm assuming that's also quite a boring one as well. <laughs> if you, I think if you fished a cod that the shark had happy and then left it to rot, that would be considered a damaged cod. No, I, uh, I agree I with what Tafki said. I agree, I agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good point. Sorry, Tafki, sorry. <laughs> To be fair, Otafki is in, is a uh, Otafki's mum is in some contact with um with with the king's boss. Is that so? Well, yeah. If we if we're taking the if we're taking the king's rule by divine right. Hmm. Fair. So I don't mean to dox. I do, I do this every time. I do this every time. I just, it's just, it's interesting to me. It's interesting. Well, it's not really, is it, is it doxing to say that Otafki's, Otafki's mum is a, um, is a, is a, is a, a woman of the cloth? Look, I don't need to know if Otafki's mum is desperate for a poo. No, that's, I don't think that's what that means. I'm not very leaky. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think I think I think a tailor, yeah. Oh Tafki, I was only kidding when I said your message was boring. I didn't really mean it, I'm so sorry. You've just finished a Stephen King book. Reading or writing. <laughs> You've been writing a Stephen <laughs> King book. I love that. <laughs> that will be very boring because so presumably it already exists. <laughs> It's so cheeky to send that off to the publishers. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, this is a really tight, a, a really tight part. I haven't hit it. Okay, you seem to turn I've not, I've not noticed any bumps. No, I don't think we bumped into anything. But this is, this is, this is, uh, this is more difficult than I'd like. It, th these high stakes, you know. You're not delivering steaks. Oh shit! What are we delivering? Dry milk. Yeah, it's risky to look at that while I while I'm staring. Okay. Speed there mode we go. activated right now. <laughs> right, there we go. Good. Well done. I'm I'm literally chuffed for you. Well done. <laughs> yeah, we've done it. There we go, we've done a job without hitting anything. Very sloppy. Oh, yes. That's I, Some... I I hate to I hate to break it to you, uh, Mr. Mystery. That's that's some of the best. That's some of the best driving gear we've had. Mm -hmm. It was quite some. I mean, I wasn't. To be fair, I wasn't in the lines, was I? Yeah, you're right. To be, that was nice. You're that's right good. to been there. It's not. It's not an incredible first time chat. <laughs> just to come out of the shadows, just to give a, a big insult after you've completed a job. I don't that's know. If it's so a bit, harsh. I don't know. If it's a. It's not a big insult, is it? I can think of. I can think of worse. But it's, it's, no, there's worse insults, sure, but that's so undermining. It's just, it's so snide. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm mainly amused by it. Uh, right. What, it is amusing. Look, no one's saying it's not amusing. No, it could be anything, couldn't it? It could be just be, it could just be my streaming in general. <laughs> it is a good test of whether I'm oversensitive, to be fair. Which I don't think I am. In this particular mm -hmm. regard. Uh, right, what have we done? We okay. We, we managed to. We 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 did. We didn't go above. We might have gone above seventy. We didn't get caught speeding. I don't know if we went above seventy. I think that's cleared. I think it's cleared. And also, we didn't hit anything. This is gone. We don't. I don't have to remember this thing. I don't have to say. I don't have to say. Unlike the Veronica, because I don't feel so in touch right now again. That one did last quite a while. Thank God. Um, okay. I'm looking forward to the screaming one. Yes. Do we have time? It is quite late. Maybe we could do something quick. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, we've been to John O'Great, so we can take that off. Go to... Ben makes a good suggestion. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's not on my list of. Oh, actually, actually, it can be Ab Ben because you did sub, didn't you? Would you like me to add that to the list? Just, I was just about to. Uh, I was just. About how many to... times have you driven to North Korea in this game? And how are <laughs> in people Euro not... Truck Simulator? Yeah, quite yeah. a few. And how are, how are people not satiated yet? I think it's just a funny place to drive to, isn't it? Right, it should be on the list now. Um, okay, I don't think we've got time for one of these. We haven't got time for one of these rules, although we will need to... And I think I've already added... A... Have I added a Scottish food and an Irish food? I didn't think about that. Mm, Irish food, uh, Tato's crisps. Tato's crisps would be good. Um, I suppose we can look on the we can look on the map to find that out. <laughs> Luckily, though, the map is quite hard to look at because it's always moving. <laughs> it is always moving. But it's too big to fit in one image. That's why it has to scroll. <laughs> uh, no, it looks like Scotland's Scotland's clean. Ireland, we have already done. What is that for Ireland? Uh, it was something Kate suggested that was like something you get in. I think it was a a spice bag. Right, okay. <laughs> spice bag. A spice it. bag. You haven't done Wales either. No, well, I don't think we finished a job in Wales. We oh yeah, you just, you just drove through Wales. We just, just drove through, through Wales, if you remember. Mm. Yeah, I, I, that's literally what I just said, Pete. Yes, I just said it. We just oh, drove. Almighty. We just drove through it, Harry. Yes, rather yes, than, I just said, I just rather said than to it. That's that's the difference. Right, let's try and get do one quick job where we go to either Istanbul or Toulouse. Actually, Artafki's here, and I think Toulouse is Artafki's suggestion slash cat. Hey, go to Toulouse. Let's go to Toulouse. What have you got Toulouse? Okay, um, you've got you've got nothing to lose. Is that you? Is that you slagging off Toulouse? Mm. Okay, we can go from Zwolle. No. no. Too tired for libel. <laughs> Have a swift to lose. A transformer, like um like Octopus Prime. Probably not, is it? Some Spanish carrots to lose. We can't see what you're uh Oh talking sorry, about yeah, I forgot the, the games. I forgot the game's not up. Yeah, you're, you're... that's why you're here. Yeah, if you've got any suggestions, Baldy. If you've if you've ever eaten Scottish food, if anyone, if it, I think a, I think a, a munch box from a Scottish takeaway, a munch box, munchy box, like like the um like the uh, spice bag, kind of yeah. Is that a similar thing? Is it like identical? Well, they're both things you can get from a from a chip shop. Square sausage. Square sausage. Let's see what this transformer is. Oh, I hope this is massive. I hope this is like a massive bit of machinery or something. I mean, it probably will be, won't it? Is it 47 tonnes? Is that what it said? I think it did say that, yeah. Okay, let's uh, just pop outside. <laughs> oh, look at this! It's like a big, oh, like a big yes. battery. Yes, yes, and It's yes. not one of those really stiff I'm trailers. It's actually going to be a real pain. Nice. <laughs> That's too long a trailer for what this it is. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's really awkward. Your lorry is like five miles long. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, well, I can't, I can't see that being any issues, and it doesn't like articulate. <laughs> We're done. Oh shit. Up. Okay, thank you. Oh yes. So if you get this caught, I like, got something. You can It won't bend off. Charlie Dunn has a yacht. Okay, this, this might be very sloppy. Should have asked if they like the king. <laughs> Mr. Chance now. What a stovey, Baldy. Ow. <gasps> 
bonk. Yeah, right, that was a bit that. I hold my heads up. That was a bit sloppy. You've got to take all the corners quite wide because it's so it long. Is this one of them trailers that has um, the rear wheels on the trailer? They actually turn when you turn when you turn your front wheels. Um, we can maybe look. That's the front. That's the front wheels. We can see that. That's not what we yeah. want. Okay. okay. Here's the wheels. Doesn't it? Doesn't no, entirely it matter really. Doesn't oh, look no, like doesn't, it. Okay. Doesn't look like it. Oh, it does a little bit. I think it does a little. Oh, maybe it is. I think I think you're right. A tiny little hint of it, maybe. I don't know. Potatoes, onion, and meat. Is that a stovey? Mm mm mm. No, I think um, body. I think a spice bag is like a, a mixture of different of different spicy foods in a bag. And some That's chips. What a munchy box is. And some chips with uh, with um, with spice on them. A munchy box in, at least in the west of uh, Scotland, is uh, essentially everything, a little bit of everything that a takeaway sells in a pizza box. Uh, okay, yeah, that just that probably is what that is. It's like a sampler of all of their wares. That's nice, like uh, like like the tasting menu, but for a chip shop. Kind of, yeah. They're very good value as well. Very affordable. Very affordable. Not in the yeah, not in the well, not, not in the Tesco too good for you range. No, no, no. Yeah, we're going quite slowly as well because it's really heavy. Yeah, so. I love this big battery. What do you think it's going to go in? I'm thinking maybe a massive replica of Hypnodisc. Yeah, maybe. And Robot Wars. Thanks, thanks for specifying where Hypnodisc is from. Well, I'm just, just that's for the benefit of anyone here who doesn't know. Yeah, it could be, yeah. Where Hypnodisc is from. Is anyone lurking? I don't no, know who Hypnodisc is. Feel free to come forward. <laughs> I'm all about making people feel included well, in this stream. I think that's good. Like... Feel free to join the Discord. We can put a picture <laughs> of the disc in there. I have made a, I've made a new gallery channel in the Discord uh, where, I, where I'm going to put the Pobots in there one at a time. One at a time. I was, I was really confused as to why there was only one image in there. Well, it, was I was like, was that it was Josie's idea to do the one a day. That's so funny. One a day is funny because you you will forget to do it as oh, well. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to make. I need to do. I've got I've got things to do. I, all really stupid things. I've got to do that. I've got to put my face on Mecha Godzilla. I've got to make Dick and Dom profile pictures for the Madden stream. Uh... Am I keeping track? Um. No, well, I'm keeping track in that I have a picture of all the ones I've done, but no, I no, I don't have any kind of list. Sounds like a, a flawed um, workflow. Am I going to be playing any spooky games? Maybe. Um, yeah, it is, it is a flawed. It is a flawed workflow. Has anyone got any spooky game recommendations? I recommend Half-Life 2. How's that going? It's alright. I'm enjoying it. There's only like sort of one spooky bit in it, really. Oh. Um, I'm thinking what you would like to play spooky-wise. Um, Manhunt may be a bit too graphic for you and unenjoyable. Manhunt is quite graphic. I remember... I remember Manhunt from being a T 
teen or preteen when Manhunt was controversial? Yep. I remember World being in someone's house. Could box. be fun, actually. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Right, One of the best pun is... suggestions I never used was Junji Ito. <laughs> Well, June's coming up soon. June is coming up soon. June's coming up soon. I do need a new. I need a new stream mm, idea to do with uh, with Bird.exe as we've exhausted mm. the comic potential of Lewis Sanderson. I did I like the streams. Yes, I thought they were good. Yeah, they were good streams. They were good. I can't believe it's been a year since February. Scary. <laughs> it's been a year since February. Scary. Yeah. Or scary February, as you kept calling it. Is that what I said? Yeah, that was the official name of it. Do you still have February scary assets Probably. in your OBS? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, not in I mean, like not in OBS. I've cleared the OBS. Uh, right, right, right. The, the OBS is relatively tidy now. Mm. Um, but I do. I still have them in a folder. I need to. I need to clear oh. out my assets folder because it's because you know you can only get so much on a computer. Yeah, you need to wipe your assets. And I do need to wipe my assets, yeah. you got dirty assets. Oh, I don't know. This shouldn't have reminded me of this, but... We are in a new country, aren't we, Harry? Oh, I had, uh, I had forgotten. Yeah. Where are we even? I'm, I'm actually, are we in France? We're I'm in totally France, lost yeah. where we are. Okay. I, I believe they enjoy pornography in France, Pete. It didn't have more porn stars than the Faroese. <laughs> it's a shame Josie wasn't here for that because Josie would have. Uh, mm. Josie enjoys any mention of the Faroe Islands. Yeah. I, just, I feel so sorry for the two people in the Faroe Islands that were called up like on a sort of jury duty kind of thing <laughs> yeah. to be the two national <laughs> porn stars. <laughs> I like the idea that they have them like a breeding pair. <laughs> Yeah, they're like the gold standard. <laughs> That's really sick because all, all future Faroese porn stars are in the muddy river. I heard that's where they filmed Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, maybe. That's the Chocolate River. That's like a British river, that. It is like a British river. Full of sewage. Oh, oops. Nearly hit a kind of McMaster style banker car. <laughs> that looks like a sort of Porsche, yeah, you... doesn't it? Yeah, looks like a Lamborghini. It's even more wankerish, really. <laughs> the kind of person that the McMaster looks down on. Actually, that's all people, mm -hmm. isn't it? People yeah. that bring a packed lunch. <laughs> Sandwiches with the corners cut off, prepared by their wives. <laughs> Such a weird man. The little weird things that anger him. I tell you what, Master would fit in. Master would fit in on the Razor team. Oh, definitely. I think actually he might be too grating for even them to handle. Oh. Oh, what's this? It's a diversion, but I'm just working out whether we should. Because uh, we, you know, we've got quite an important battery. Yeah. Battery coming through. That's fine, that's fine. They don't mind. I think they've actually closed the slip road just for you. This is yeah, like your exclusive yeah. road. Hello, Sean. Actually, we're taking a big battery to, to lose. Um, that's been the main... Sean, do you think you can damage COD? Hmm. That... that... Uh, well, it came up once. Yeah, cod bruises. bruises. There you go. Uh, we hadn't even discussed bruising. Mighty Fighty Shushbugs no. was insistent that cod can't be damaged. One of the worst takes I've ever witnessed online. I also had a very funny first time chat from, uh, <laughs> from I assume, a truck game fan. Who, uh, it was the pinned message, actually. Did I pin it? Uh, I think King of Time might have pinned it. It was very, very good. 
well, not not. I, the thing is, Sean, I, I said something that no, would have that, really that I shouldn't have said that would have wound them up, uh, and then I and the, but no, I just parked the truck. Um, I, actually, by by my usual standard, relatively well. And then he uh, did a good job, actually. Uh, and then the guy came in first time chat. The first time chat was just very sloppy. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever recover. It didn't even, you know, it wasn't even constructive criticism. <laughs> no, because no, it wasn't even clear. I mean, and this this says quite a lot about me, isn't it? It'd be very hard to narrow it down to exactly what he thought was sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might have been on a delay. You may yeah, be talking it could about have something. Been the bike, it could have been the driving. It could have just been the chat. It could have been the huh? the. It could have. Ju it could just be the um, the stream layout. Maybe he could have been talking about cod. He might be describing been, yeah, cod. Yeah, he could have been damaged. Cod, yeah. It's very sloppy when damaged. Yeah, it could have been. A, it could have been a, that bit of that bit of um, bit of stand up. Yeah, he could have been talking about the theme, which is, which is, which is, it doesn't even, it doesn't even exist. I've been busy. I've not even, I've not even, I've not even put together something to pretend to be a theme. It's okay for it to still be 2002. And even that only really applies to the Robot Wars streams. But I think that's yeah, fine. But you can... You can pretend you're driving in 2002. The problem, yeah. I, the problem I have is that people like the streams I'm doing, uh, which isn't a problem oh, I've had in problem. the past, you know? Yeah, but because of that, I can't just drop them every arbitrarily every four weeks. Mm. I do know I do know about the... I do know about the... Well, I vaguely... I don't know that much. I'm aware that someone that was on Robot Wars, I think on the, on the Dara later series, uh, did a murder. Oh. And that's about as much what, what? as I know. Who? Is this British Robot Wars? Yeah, British Robot Wars. It was someone from one of the the, um, the revival series. I didn't know. Oh, so like... oh, do you know what? I think I did know that detail. That they, yeah, yeah, yeah yes, I, I do remember this from the yes that they said that they were on a stream, but it, they just played a they just played a like a vod. And that was the alibi for doing the murder. This is like the Dara O'Brien. Which is yeah. such a Midsummer Murders device, isn't it? Like Death in Paradise style stuff. Actually, it was the plot of a Death. In, that was the that was the crux of a Death in Paradise. It is a new media, Agatha Christie. It's a wonder you didn't get uh, your identity mistaken. You had Pete. I wonder that you didn't get your uh, get questioned for this, get implicated. Your well, I haven't Wars been streamer. on Robot Wars, have I? Oh, you look a lot like that guy from Bearmouth. He keeps I... crying every time he gets beaten by a kid. That, is that true? It it does occur well, to me you... that if if I was under suspicion for that, what wouldn't help me out is that I have probably around a thousand clips now of me pretending to be live and. <laughs> And insisting that this isn't a clip. Well, I think what you need, really, just to settle it once and for all, is to explicitly say that this is live and yeah. read what the time is and the day. Yeah. Yeah. Hold up a newspaper. Yeah. We haven't seen the Dara. No, when we watch the Dara series, presenter, I will point out the murderer to you. I didn't know anything about that. I only remember seeing it in the... Well, it's in the news, which is how you would know about that, isn't it? I, I suppose so. I don't know why you've said that. About... <laughs> yeah, that's also not going to help me, is it? That's also not going to help oh, me in this. Oh, no, in who's this... pinned it? Yeah, yeah. oh, Harry, look, I know you probably meant to click delete message, <laughs> but you've, you've been... <laughs> clicked the wrong... 
click the wrong. Oh, I see. Sorry, Bre yeah. Bread Santa's put is Bread Santa. There's no. We don't know that I'm. Not, I don't just pop up on the sixth war. You know. You could do. You could be like a stagehand or something. You could be a camera operator. You could be Philippa Forrester. I don't think I'm Philippa Forrester. No. You could be uh, Jane Middlemas. He only appears for one series. Yeah, but it's Channel Five series. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah that, yeah that was me, Jane Middlemas. <laughs> Northumbrian. Is she? That's that's, mm -hmm. that's nice she's from, from. She's from. Who were the who were the who were the leading lights of who are the leading ambassadors for Northumbria? Uh, Robson Green. Robson uh, Green. Uh, Pete Doherty was born in Northumberland, even though he grew up in the south. Uh, oh, um, Alexander Armstrong was born in Rothbury, Raoul Moat territory. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you claim Alexander Armstrong as a proud Northumbrian? Well, he, he spoke very highly of certain parts of Northumberland. Oh, he's uh, a good ambassador, is he? That's, that's nice. Kind of, yeah. He's, he's uh, championed uh, some of the castles. That's um, good. Yeah. He says Walkworth is a lovely part of Northumberland, which is correct. Nice little village. Good castle. Uh, are, you in a, are you still in France here? Yeah, it's all France. Is it? Yeah, you are. Yeah, it's all France. Um, any French porn stars uh, pop yeah, we'll look in it your up. mind? We'll look, it up. we'll look it up to finish the stream, Harry. <laughs> I'm sorry if anyone's stuck in an ad. You won't know. You won't know I'm saying that. All right, they've been spared my boring Alexander Armstrong chat. So dull. I don't think it was that dull. I don't, also, I prompted it. Yeah. I'm from Northumberland. I'm famous. What are you famous for? Uh, being cake in, in Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, that's, that's, that's the answer, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, he did do, Sean, yeah. He did a bit of... He's done some... Uh, sort of swing albums I think you also did a Christmas album Christmas which I did yeah, I have, yeah. I just, it does have a couple of Noel Edmonds did a very funny Christmas album once in that he didn't actually sing on it it was just a selection of songs that he liked that's and licensed right. to put on that's, an album but he put his face on it that's absolute that's mm. that's uh, an almost a respectable so no. level of grifting isn't it mm hmm mm hmm Oh, it takes ages to break. Mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> With the truck's so heavy, I forgot. I haven't had to break for a while. Did he say... I can't believe they just... Sorry, go on. Go on. Sorry, Sean's just said, did he say uh, listing the album could cure cancer? Do you know what Sean's on about there? Oh, because Noel thinks you can use um, uh, cosmic whatever. So to it was like some sort of special or mass or whatever. Can... Yeah. yeah. And he used to do great symbols on his hands on Deal or No Deal. Yeah. Um, I think I've told this story before, but my friend uh, is uh, Noel. Is Mr. Blobby? Nice no, it's not Mr. Blobby. It's a, it's a man called Vaughn Earl Norman. He's lovely. He he was in the most oh. recent series of. Vic I know. Yeah, he was on Vic and Bob. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Vaughn's lovely, uh, and he, he got uh, Noel Edmonds uh, tweeted him once saying like, um, "Do you think your bad attitude caused your cancer or something?" Because Vaughn lives with cancer. He suffers from cancer, and um, this whole like sort of Noel Edmonds cancer stupid thing. It was sort of targeted around my friend Vaughn. Oh, shit. It's so bizarre. It's that so unusual. Bizarre. I think Vaughn must have responded to Noel's tweets about this, like, mat or this electromagnetic yeah. pulse box that Noel said can cure cancer, and Vaughn probably called him out and then. Yeah, probably said, no, no, can, can it? No. no. It's amazing that he didn't like Noel didn't face anything no it's illegal <laughs> no it would, or even even particularly damage his reputation from it yeah like he still he just didn't lose any work over it I wouldn't imagine no in fact he, he got work <laughs> subsequently he, he got he got a series on Channel 4 he did that cheap 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 
after after I mean it was only lasted one series, but he still worked beyond that. I think he's done the right thing though, Neil Edmonds, by just sodding off to New Zealand and <laughs> yeah. evading all public limelight. He must he's be made quite money. old now, must he? He's fair I enough. Think so. I think he won his lawsuit against Lloyd's Bank. Oh who's yeah, that was Bank. the guy he killed. Oh, this is true, Sean, as well. Michael Lush. He, di he died on, on the, a the, stunt, right? On the... He did the Late Late Breakfast Show. Yeah. It was the precursor to Nell's House Party. Um, they did this thing every week where they picked a random member of the studio audience, gave him a week's worth of training to perform like some sort of ridiculous stunt with very little health and safety protocols being followed. <laughs> And a guy died, and another guy a few months previous, uh, prior to that, got injured in a big car accident. Like they, they did a car jumping stunt, and that ended in a, a sort of a freak accident as well. Um, yeah, Michael Lush, he he died doing a bungee jump sort of thing. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just giving you all like a little <laughs> TV history lesson. TV <laughs> history lesson. <laughs> yeah, like a uni lecture, the history, yeah, but like, the history just... of TV, all the all the major talking points, <laughs> all the all the really bleak sort of yeah. nasty bits. Is this on the citizenship test? Yes. Yes, it is, Pete. Yes, the citizenship <laughs> test. King of Time, did you actually like cheap, cheap, cheap though? It had Alex Lowe in it, playing Barry from Watford. Did it? That was a fun... It did, yeah. I don't think I... Oh, shit. Yeah, we're continuing to crash into something there. I thought it was interesting, exclamation mark, says King of Time. Almost as if he's being accused of something for finding it <laughs> interesting. <laughs> I'll take that, Sean. Thank you. I mean, it was you who uh, reminded me about Michael Lush, so thank yeah, it was, you yeah. for prompting. And and the and and the and the Noel Edmonds cancer stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, we just need to reverse into this, and then we will we'll do some 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 nice tiny parking. Am I going to do the difficult park here? Even though it's a this oh, it's... You're welcome, Ad Ben. <laughs> I think. Right, here we are. This is to lose, by the way, yeah, for, for our Tafki's benefit. Hey, you've got nothing to lose. Yeah, no. What have you got? To lose. You got nothing. No. Uh, never mind. I think I'm funny, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Oh, okay, that was bad. That was that was that was sloppy. It was very sloppy. It's now, King of Time, I don't believe you unless there's an exclamation mark at the end of it. <laughs> like Westwood Ho. <laughs> yeah, Westwood Ho. I'd love to visit there. It's, oh, well, it's not Mr. Mr. To Mystery me. is present. Mr. Mystery is here. He's ready to come out to criticise you. Oh, well, actually, that, that that disproves my other hypothesis, doesn't it? So this is actually useful. Yeah, go on then. Let's get some clarification. Well, I no, well, I I I, I wasn't sure whether people would be would be pro or anti monarchy. Oh yeah, and that that feels that feels like uh, like the comment of a person who doesn't really care for the money. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I have sympathy yeah. with that. as a position. Mm -hmm. Hey, SK. Oh hi, SK. Sorry, I was I was in the middle of a difficult part, which I've actually negotiated that pretty well. I mean, it's not in the space, but that's a good start. It doesn't bend. Are you, are you the king of quite tricky. Are you the king of trucks? Also, no, what do you of, mean king exactly? Of, king of time. It's king of time. 
What are you on about? It doesn't bend in the middle. What lorries bend? Well, not bend. Look, it, because it's it's just long. It's just long is what I mean. It, it's, it's, it is articulated, but like... Yeah, it is articulated. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking I'm not really a... I don't want to out myself as being not a truck expert. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's in. Perfect. Nice, 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 nice. Watch, Watch out. out. It's slipping. I'd love to know what that battery was used for. Yeah, what do we... We'll never know, will we? Just powers uh... this warehouse. <laughs> to, to be to be fair, it's true. <laughs> oh, but hang on, we can't finish the job yet, can we, Harry? Of course not. Can you Something explain to, to the done. Can you explain to the viewers what I'm doing? <clears throat> I think Pete's gonna E O T. Yeah, fair enough. I think Pete's gonna uh, look for French porn stars on the internet and research them. Am I wrong, oh, Pete? They, no, they've got a Wikipedia page. There's a Wikipedia category for French pornographic film actresses. Why are you so excited? Well, is it, to find no, this out. It's, I'm just, your eyes have just lit up. It, you look so it's, happy. It's been more. This is the, the first time I've not had to use a horrible site to do this. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> is this what you wanted to happen, Harry? Keith, I'm more than happy for this to be the last one you ever have to do. I think you've done this more than I wouldn't enough. say I'm not like a cartoon dog. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit myself with a sh I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna slip off the Tims and then and then wh whack myself in the whack myself in the head with it. It's a reference to Sean's stream earlier. Good. <laughs> I think also what's what's quite good is I, the Wikipedia page just give me facts. I might have to look at I might have to look at some images I don't want cookies of. I'm not truck trendy. Okay. Um, Tell us all about this porn star that you've just um, found out about. Virginie Gervais also known as Virgin A. Caprice, uh, is a French glamour model, TV personality, and former pornographic actress. Um, she was the winner of 2005 FHM's France's High Street Honey competition. That's a fact. I knew, I knew people in the chat would make a Ricky Gervais sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. I, it's just, I think it's good to... Set you off by the chat. Oh, there aren't really any good... I don't want to go on an official website. No? Well, no. No, I don't. She no, has promoted there might be a soccer worldwide. I've never heard of her. But, but... Her efforts have gone to waste, I think. <laughs> she, was campaigning, I work, I work in... she was campaigning for Zlatan uh, to win the Ballon d'Or. What year? Uh, 2014. Mm. I believe it. I really hope not, Baldy. Imagine if I try and like, I try and, I don't know. I, I'm not actually. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure what I'd do that would need a some sort of check. Try and become a local councillor. <laughs> become an MP. Yeah, I'll become an MP. You could do all your searches uh, whilst sat in the Commons. I could, that yeah. Guy, that, that guy, that's what that guy did, time. yeah. And that yeah. was... He had the lamest excuse for that, didn't he? I can't think what it was, though. Yeah, he did. He was researching tractors. Yes, that's said. right. He was... Yes, he was... Army Art Machinery. Yeah, that's all he's got. Yeah, he was looking up... He was looking up tractors and he accidentally... He accidentally mm. clicked on, on... On a pornographic video. Hey, it happens. But also, it... it, it He'd had multiple complaints, hadn't he? So it, that had happened. Yeah, he was. To he, believe that, you'd have but, to believe that that had happened 
multiple like it like independently several different times where he was just looking at the had been complaints yeah he he did have a reputation i think for his uh conduct i think is that like a uh, christian horner i don't know what he's done actually i don't know what christian horner's done christian horner might be uh innocent he's Pete, married to a spice girl which one jerry horner Je- jerry horner yeah mm. <laughs> yeah i believe that you believe that? I, think I believe that. Yeah, I don't see true. why you'd lie to me about that. True. I mean, that that doesn't count as one of these facts because Christian Horner is well, unless that's the allegation, is not a, not an adult film star or French. <laughs> Thank you for researching the French porn star. Yeah, we must have had at least three facts, right? Yeah, can't remember any of them, but yeah, <laughs> High Street Honey, I remember that one. In February 2008, she played the role of a stripper in episode 10 of the French TV series Paris en Coute Criminels. That's, that's something for you to stream, I think, at some point. Well, I think, like I think that's just a... Uh, oh, yeah, actually, I don't know. You only count two? That's three now, right? We've had three. She campaigned for Zlatan to win the Ballon d'Or, which is a good... Yeah, yeah. That's a good fact. That is, that's quite good. Did Zlatan win? Uh, I don't think so. Ah, I think that was during shame. the. Um, that was during. I'll, I'll Google it. It's still on private browser for some reason. 2014 was Brazil World well, Cup, right? Well, ba- the Ballon d'Or is the best player in the world, and basically, it's always been Messi or Ronaldo for the last mm. for the last for, for the last long time. Um, 2014, yeah, it went to Ronaldo. Ah. It wasn't even in the top ten. The campaign failed. Terrible campaigning. But he was probably playing for well, PSG sort of at the time, which is why he, this would have been uh, why it happened. Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, we should finish that's this job. That would have happened, yeah. Great football chat, Pete. I'm almost interested in football now. <laughs> you have to subtitle it. Did you <laughs> yeah. ever subtitle Gold Dust? That would impress. Well, mainly our Taffy. No, I've never had to subtitle. But you might have done, because he um. AEW. Yeah. Oh, I may have done. He would have been Dustin Rhodes like years ago. Now, but yeah, you may well have done. Oh, likely then. Yeah, exactly. It's very possible. Possibly. Hmm. There's no way for me to check. Unfortunately, I've lost all the files that are subtitled. Ballon, but that's good. That's good. SK. That's good. That's not, that's not sloppy. Right, I hope people have enjoyed this. Um, Shall we see if we can cross anything off the list? I hope you've enjoyed it, Pete, as well. We've been to Toulouse. And Pete, I mean it. Um, I think you've you've more than done enough for this porn star rule. <laughs> I'm very happy <laughs> to see it to, go. You want me to cross that off, though? I think it's been well, fun. Well, I... Well, yeah, there's no doubt that you find it fun. Yes, you're you're going on some very exciting websites. Yeah, okay, no, sure, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that yeah. chance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross that off. <laughs> yeah, good, good. And it's it's Thank taught me a lesson to really that. make sure I should specify, I should clarify when people send in a new rule, what the end, what how we know it's mm. completed. We've still yeah. got quite a few on here, haven't we? Um, but, you know, we've done some stuff. Right, there we go. Let's clear that off. <laughs> there it goes. I keep laughing at my at my other rule. What the screaming out loud one? The, I'll uh, just have to do I mean I, I have to be no one else in the house, will there, for a start. <laughs> yeah, you have to convince you you have to convince them to leave. Yeah, I think a three hundred mile journey might be very difficult. <laughs> Although I guess I could do it, it could be a ferry one, which would mean it wasn't that long in game time. Yeah. Fair. That's fair. Well, because yeah, even if it because even if it takes it three minutes in real time, that's going to be quite difficult. Screaming at the top of my voice, isn't it? Oh well, Pete, I didn't realise when I donated it that it was going to be difficult. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, I'm not saying. Oh, we have done France in food. France has got a food. Oh yeah, I need to do the game sounds as well. Which is that's <laughs> a funny one, good. yeah. That'd be a very good one. There are some, there are, you know, there's still some good, you know, there's lots of good stuff on here. 
I think I'm sort of establishing Monday as, as truck Mondays. But we'll see. Nice. We'll see. Thank you for letting me um no, sit that's in your fine. passenger seat tonight. I've enjoyed being here. No, that's fine. Thanks for doing it, Harry. Would you like a shout out? Mm, yeah, go on then, yes please. I nearly said no. To <laughs> yeah, be you said no, I wouldn't really talk about Thank you. I knew it was going to happen anyway, even if I said no. Well, true. Are you planning any streams this week? Possibly. Don't know when. Maybe. Maybe to. What? Are you, when are you streaming? I like to do my streams around your streams. I'm not sure. Probably. Probably the same time tomorrow. Maybe. But I don't actually know what I'll do. So. Uh, I, don't um, know. I might do a cheeky quick one, half six tomorrow evening, depending on if you're streaming or not, and then I'll lead into you. I think that be, might be my next stream tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. So I've just noticed Adban said, can you stream you looking at these stars on kick? I'm not I'm not going to do that, Adban. Yeah, still, don't do that, Pete. still don't really know what... I uh, still don't really know Thank what... Thank you, SK. Oh, thank, thank you, SK. That's very kind. Well, a, a lovely compliment. Thank you, SK. I'm doing so. What I might do tomorrow, what the, the thing I'd like to do is I, I want to post the... I want to post my first TikTok and I want it to be the thing <laughs> Mighty Fighty made for me, the uh, the Love Actually parody called Lewis Actually. Um, but I might... <laughs> what I might do tomorrow is I might do a stream where the, at the end of the stream I publish the TikTok. Um <laughs> I mean, I'll do something else at the stream, but that will be that'll be something that happens. What if you become friends with Lewis as a result of that? Yeah, I mean, I am worried that I'm good. Well, that's not true. I think I'd like it if he does one of those reaction videos where he's reacting to my video. That would be very good. That would be very. Because then funny. I'll do a reaction video to that, and we'll see how we'll see how many Chinese whispers we could we could do. <laughs> Make the Lewis dirty your Mac TikTok master. redeemable. Oh, I don't think Lewis is my Mac Master. Lewis is your Mac Master. Sean's got a Mac Master sure. now. Have you seen Sean's Mac Master? Master? No, I haven't. I've, I've missed this. What? Uh, this Sean's was today. Sean. Sean likes this guy that goes on planes. Oh, what's his name? Um, trendy. Is it Noel Phillips? Trendy, tr tr trendy, trendy travel or something. Trendy travel. Something and like are that. they as infuriating as the McMaster? Yeah, it's a very smug guy. He's, he's much slicker than the McMaster, but he goes on like first class flights uh... and and like documents the whole thing in a, in a very smug, like n not in a way that would be at all useful to the consumer. Mm. Trendy Trek, I think was his name. Trendy Trek. Damn you, Sean Morley, for finding a better McMaster than me. Sorry, Trek Trendy do not recommend. I, I don't know if it's... I don't know this, but his videos are over long in the same way. Um, are you um, are you gonna are you gonna look back at Trek Trendy in the future, Sean? Do you think, or is that is that now? Have you hammered a big condemned sign over the tunnel <laughs> where Trek Trendy lives? Oh yeah, what is this? Is this going to be a recurring thing for Sean, or is he is he sick of him already? No, no, I'm not. I'm, Sean, I'm not saying I want to delve into it. I'm just wondering if you're going to do it in the future. I'm just wondering if you're going to <laughs> yeah, go down all, the Trek Trendy hole. Become, let's all become Trek Trendy streamers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, let's... Hey, feel free to feel free to have a little look at MacMaster for yourself, Sean, on your stream. <laughs> I want to poison more minds. And you, you can have Lewis as well. I think I'm... <laughs> I think I'm done with Lewis. Yeah, I've, I'm done with Lee, honestly. Lewis has jumped the shark. Lewis's make... last one with the um, the OnlyFans one. That was Lewis jumping yeah, a... jumping completely that, over the him. shark. That's him owning up now and saying, I, I'm aware of what yeah, I am. Yeah, he knows he's funny. Which really spits mm -hmm. in the face of everyone that was inspired to, uh, to be safer around the paddling pool, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, totally. I think as soon as Trek I found the interview him. where he admitted that he came up with the idea for the paddling pool video first and then retroactively realised he could pretend he was trying to raise awareness, I think is when when I, when he when he could see completely through anything he says. Hmm. But let's not let's not get bogged down in Lewis. Let's 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 do a raid. Let's go to bed. 
Nice idea. Lewis scares me. Yes. I hope that's okay to say. He really, really scares me. He's a t- yeah. Some of those videos where he leans forward, it's like a jump scare. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good night, everyone. Thank you very Good much for night, putting everyone. up with my voice. Thank you. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Harry. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pete, as well. Ah, uh, that's right. Holly likes going to. He's playing Pokemon Yellow. I, I've done that. Uh huh. Probably not. Probably not. Well, I should get. I will get back to that at some point. I will finish Pokemon Yellow on the stream. Um, at some point, maybe even tomorrow. Who knows? But I won't finish it tomorrow. I might. It might be what I'll do tomorrow. But maybe not. Maybe I'll think of something else. <laughs> Be more indecisive. Well, no, it, it's more. I haven't. I haven't got. I haven't got an idea yet. I can't, it is true. I couldn't catch a mark. Uh, Thursday will be the Madden stream. Saturday, WrestleMania. It's the big one. It's the big one. Um, one of the matches is going to last an hour. Everyone, everyone's even the people that like that stream think that's too much. Good night, friends. Bye bye. Good, good night, everyone. Oh, Sunday, final of Dutch Robot Wars. That's the real big one. Right, goodbye, everyone. And goodbye to anyone watching the VOD. Apologies to uh, all the people that like the, the truck game. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, sorry about the king. <laughs> I'm sorry about the king as well. Yeah, all right, goodbye.